Good afternoon, uh, it's 12.08. Um, today is January the 15th, it is a meeting of the City Manager Search Ad Hoc Committee. Uh, I'm trying to get my agenda here together. So the meeting will begin and we will begin with a please ask uh, uh, for a roll call. Harry Schwabel. Present. Jeff Quaid. Present. Rafael Duenas Sr. Present. Elmo Lopez. Present. Ana Benavides Gaylo. Present. Ivan Rodriguez. Present. Jean Delmares. Present. Trisha Cortez. Present. Hector J. Garcia. Present. Here you have a quorum. Thank you very much. Uh, as a reminder, uh, we do have a period of, of general citizen communication. Citizens are required to fill out a witness card and submit it to the chair. Uh, no later than 12.15 uh, of today's date. Identifying themselves before the meeting and uh, also these, these comments will be limited to three minutes per speaker. Speakers may not pass their minutes to any other speaker. Comments should be relevant to the committee business and delivered in a professional manner. No derogatory remarks will be permitted. Uh, so if anybody's here present wants to submit, submit your cards. Uh, uh, also, now we need to, we have two sets of minutes that we need to approve uh, for two different meetings that I, I trust that everybody has an opportunity to review those. Uh, the first is a set of minutes for the meeting of October, is that correct? Motion to accept the minutes from October 14th and October 7th. I mean October 14th, 2019 and January 7th, 2020. Second. There's a motion, the second is a discussion. I, I do have some proposed changes to the minutes. Okay. And I want to make some corrections. Let me get my notes in place. Uh, in particular, I want to cite uh, uh, in that particular meeting, there's reference made uh, by, uh, by Mr. Garcia that none of the candidates were qualified candidates, in his opinion, and the uh, committee member also uh, agreed. But I want the minutes to reflect that there were also committee members who dis respectfully disagreed with that, and I was one of them, and I want that to be noted in the minutes, uh, and it was uh, in the minutes of the meeting. Uh, which date? Which date? The October 14, 2019, or the January 7th? The October, the, the October meeting. The October meeting, that uh, the minutes that you have there make a reference, uh, as you read the first item, uh, it's talking about the, uh, uh, the comment by by uh, by Mr. Garcia, but I want also the record to show that there was uh, discussion, and other members of the committee respectfully disagreed, and uh, so that's one uh, addition to the minutes that I wanted to be sure that be reflected. I also uh, showed uh, concern or expressed and, concern and about and that comment. And this is for item A. Item A. From section four. Yeah. Let me make sure that the, there was there, is, were, uh, there were more can there were more members that actually agreed than disagreed. So make sure that that's put on the on the record too. Yeah, they don't have pages in the minutes, so that's why I'm trying to go back and say it would be in the minutes. You go to page, basically the third page. In the first paragraph, it makes reference to a comment uh, uh, that uh, uh, Mr. Garcia and, Mr. and Ms. Cortez has been made. I, in that particular paragraph, I, or in that discussion, I wanted to reflect that there was also, you know, uh, Two people. other comments. So noted. Okay? Yes. And that is to the minutes of October the 14th of 2019, okay? Are there any other changes to the minutes to that particular that anyone wants to bring up? If not, then the motion was made. With the, with the adjustment, with the amendment. With the modifications? Yes, sir. Okay. Agreed. 
Aye. All in favor of approving those minutes? Aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Thank you. And we have to approve the minutes of the January 7th meeting, which was last week, <coughs> minutes uh, as well. Mr. Chair, uh, I believe uh, the motion that council member, uh, committee member Garcia made was to include both, both sets of minutes. Is that correct? Yes. And that was the motion I made, the second that I made. So we're, we've already approved that. Okay. All right. And then the, uh, okay, so there's a motion on the, on, on the minutes of the second one as well, so the, the second stays the same. Stays the same. There, is a, there is also a modification. I'd like for it to be noted in the second page of those minutes, in, the, in paragraph A, it makes reference to uh, the binders, uh, and it makes reference to the first as was shown, identified the white binder that was made available uh, to all committee members of which contain all relevant data in regard to the candidates, including resident. You recap that, that the application time period had been extended to the end of the year and the decision to not interview anyone until after that time. I would like to request that after the, after the word, he recap that the, at the instructions of the city council, so it was not a decision of this committee, but at the instructions of the city council, <coughs> application time period had been extended to the end of the year and of the decision to not interview anyone until that time. So noted. All right. Do they need to right. come back to make modifications to Wait, the we previous correct. motion? No, we're good. And, and and I was and also further on in the minutes there is a uh, I don't know what page is this but it's it's reference a motion on the uh, ranking from one to eleven and one being the highest that motion there and that follow up page I know we had some discussion. Uh, uh, point of order. I, I think we just need to entertain an agenda to, re, to reconsider or revisit the, the, the previous motion since we're making substantive changes to the to the approval we gave earlier. Oh, it's not going to. It's going to be related to the actual motion. Right, but it's, we've already closed and voted on it. So adding anything to it requires that motion be open to reconsider so we can add those amendments. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to be adding anything to it. I just want to bring it for discussion purposes in regards to that that particular for clarification. I know the motion was so, made in second. So that, you, wanted, you wanted to add additional items to these minutes. Is that correct? I this want amendment? to get clarification on what was written. Make sure that my interpretation is, is correct. If we are making changes to the minutes, then we would require a motion to reconsider. We would, but he doesn't know if he's going to make have, changes yet or not. He does okay. not know. I have, I, have, I, have not, and I have not made a request to change anything. I just want for clarification that we're all clear on that particular motion. Okay. But it, and, and, and the question that I'm asking is for clarification that we're all, you know, understand clearly what was written. Yes, sir. Does, does, you know, is in regards to the time frame of discussion and presentations. <clears throat> is everyone clear on that? My concern, my question is whether or not we are approving the minutes as they were discussed during that meeting. And if we are adding items that were not discussed and not Correct. part of the minutes, then we would need to come back. Yes. And and either one, that this is clarification, but if we're going to amend the minutes, then we would need to have a motion right. to reconsider. A motion would have to be made by everyone to amend If we're going to amend the minutes. That's correct. Okay. I understand that. I understand that. So I just want to make sure that everybody understands that this particular motion as was written in here. Okay, so there's no question that comes back later. You know, right. I want to make sure that the committee understands. You're going to ask staff to see, you have a question for us, so. It's a question. It's not an amendment to the minutes. No, not yet. So as long as the minutes were approved, not yet. as submitted and amended earlier, we amended the ones for for the October fourteenth. There will be no more amendments to these meeting to these minutes unless you will have to make an have amendment. Never. You will have to make a motion in a little bit to add, as requested by City Council. That will have to be a motion in a little bit. But let's get all the okay. items. Yeah, I just want, I'm just trying to make sure that everybody understands clearly that the way that it's written, it's the way it was intended. That the motion was made, and that was intended. There's no question about it because there's one key point here that Mr. Lopez made in that paragraph. Was that Mr. Lopez noted that the chairman would be the control, okay? And I want to make sure there's no interpretation 
of what that of what that meant. Right, and at that point, no motion was made. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And to clarify my statement, if I may, Mr. Chairman, as the chairman of this committee, you have the control to set the pace, uh, to keep it moving, to uh, keep everything in order. So that's right. that was my uh, only uh, comment. Right. Just a point of clarification, just make sure everybody understands. There's no questions come up later. All right. So those are the minutes of the second. So those uh, there was a motion of the second. All in favor of approving the minutes with, with, with an amendment. With the amendment is that I opposed. Signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. I know, Mr. Chairman, we we've already voted on both yeah. sets of minutes. So you need to bring it back. So that's why we, if Someone we're going to, to make back. an amendment to the January seventh, we would need to reopen for reconsideration. We need to reopen it. To add those. Okay, okay let's do that. Okay. Let's go ahead and do so it. then, uh, we'll do that. Uh, motion to reconsider the minutes of January 7th, 2020. Second. So, motion to be made, seconded. Discussion was those, that, that discussion that we just had. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anybody so have any, any? Motion to approve with the, re with the recommendations or any kind of changes. To with the amendments. Uh, right. Changes. That it was the state council who made these decisions. Okay. Right. All, right. All in favor of that motion, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. Thank you, Mr. Rivas. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, so we we are, are continuing our our process again, of reviewing uh, where we stand. Uh, we have, I think, in the agenda that we have before you, uh, we're at a point right now that we were the last uh, uh, request that we had was what to submit a series of uh, rankings that everyone was sort of submitted. Uh, to uh, staff by yesterday by noon. I'd like to ask staff, were, were all nine committee members, did you receive nine committee rankings? Yes, we received them all before noon. There was one, I want to be able to say that there was one additional change early this morning on which Ms. Um, Christy Hill, the city attorney, and I uh, spoke to a committee member. He wanted to change his rankings, his number, his timeliness was met at noon yesterday, but he wanted to make sure that he would change something based on some information he researched, and we approved it. We certified that we made those changes over the phone and submitted them back to the internal auditor. And so I just want to make sure that everyone knows that there was one additional change made after the noon deadline. Okay. So before you, in your packet, is the actual scoring based on what was submitted. I'd like for you to, to look at that because I, in, in the left-hand side of that page, you will see that there's a reference made by applicant in the form of letters, A, B, C, D, as you can see there. So if there's any, any, any discussion, that, that, that any issues that we want to, to discuss, we would like for the committee members to refer to them as applicant A, B, C, D, or, or so forth, uh, rather than by a name, okay? So these these are these are these are the rankings that I like for staff to explain to us how you came about <coughs> based on the results of the rankings and, yes. and your methodology of how you did it. Correct. And so, Mr. Chairman, we received everything as far as all the scoring is concerned by um, at noon, as we stated before, and um, that information was handed to the internal auditor and her staff to be able to tally up to to confirm that. We, we, the rest of our committee members um, and staff, stayed completely out of the scoring. They were able to put the candidate and how each individual committee member scored it, one being the best and um, I believe 11 being the least of the candidates based on education, qualifications, et cetera, and how you all looked at it. And so it has a tallying by each committee member and yourself. Based on that, there is at the end, at the right-hand side, a cumulative ranking of total scores. So the least score is the highest candidate or the best candidate that you all felt, um, and so on and so forth. So you have 31, 32, 38, and so on and so forth, the rankings. We purposely gave you a little clip, as, as the chairperson said, where the names are there, and so you are able to look at them and see how each committee member scored the applicants. There has since 
um, as of last night, at 10 o'clock at night, candidate B uh, has withdrawn his, his application because he has accepted a position in Stock, Stockholm? Stockholm, California. Stockton, California. Stockton, California. So candidate B is no longer be in the consideration. Right. So any questions in regards to the methodology of the of this of this uh, I guess this ranking? Uh, I'll open it up to the committee. Any questions? I'm, I've got a couple of questions myself, but I'll have the committee. Any questions? Any Mr. committee Mr. members? Chairman, I just have a, a comment on the. This is one way of ranking them, but. I'm not sure if this was the intended way. We, we, I was under the impression that the person who got the most number ones would be number one, the person who got the most number twos would be number two, and so on and so forth, because uh, it, it is a difference, uh, this ranking versus what I just stated. So I just want clarification how the well, committee wants this ranking. The, most, the people that got the most number ones are at the higher end of, the, of your listing. <clears throat> And so there's, like you said, many ways to be able to add them. This is how we felt was the easiest for all of us, for you all to see the, the weight. If you want us to go back to 111, it's going to be the same result. No, it's not. Well, because it's, you will have more number ones, more number two. Somewhat different, but again, I'm, I'm just bringing that up. What was the intention of the committee? How to rank them? It, it, and if we're going to be interviewing all or a smaller group, it may not make any big difference because that's not. Okay. We still have to go through the interview process. I'm just saying this is one methodology. I have no objection to the ranking as the way they presented it. Okay. It's fine with me. Yeah. Any other observations from any of the committee members? I just wanted to Justin. be clear, uh, Chairman. Uh, at the last meeting, we said that we were going to interview anybody who got in anybody's top six, right? That was the decision? Was that the ever made the decision? We did not talk about it. Okay. Yeah, we talked about that. We talked about 11. We talked about 7. We talked right, about top 2. Okay. Uh, yeah. That is the decision that we're going to make today. Okay. Got it. That's why, that's why the methodology becomes important because, uh, you know, if, if, if we already, the list was narrowed down to 10. So we had 11 candidates. Now we have 10. So therefore, the question is, you know, we, there was discussion whether we cut off at a certain number. <clears throat> And I would, you know, uh, if, if, this, if this process, if this methodology eliminates commonly those at the bottom tier, then, yeah, they may not be a point, Mr. Lopez is saying. But, it, but if it impacts it, we won't know uh, unless we sit down and spend some time trying to figure this thing out right now. But uh, the, main, the main issue is that we're trying to determine the individual we want to pursue, uh, continue with with interviewing and this if this system is adequate to the committee and this you feel comfortable is a system that we want to move forward with that's what we need to do chairman i just been looking at the numbers my opinion is i think we should interview the top six because in top six after that none of them have a one none of them have a none are in the top four or three so you're you at least interviewing everybody, even if they got one one, they should. I think they should be interviewed. And if you look at it, it probably it's uh, it's probably the top six, A, B, C. Considering the, considering the fact that the, the one of them's already bailed, that's the top six of the remaining one, right? The remaining not, top six, not the top six of a year. No, sir. Yeah. If I go back to um, Mr. Elmo Lopez's methodology, I have one candidate, candidate D, who has two ones, but then the others all have one, one, one. And so I guess that would be your, if you want to go that route. Can you repeat that? Mm -hmm. For example, candidate D, candidate, candidate D has two ones. Mm -hmm. So that would be your top. But then how do I know who your second is? Because the other three candidates, there's three other candidates who only have a one, one, one. I, I think what, So I think uh, that what we have here is good. Yeah, I think, I think. so. And I think what Mr. Garcia is saying, you know, makes sense. If you exclude the candidate B that already took a job and you take the top six, it looks like everybody wanted to interview those. The last four, and the, the last four, uh, el eliminate those because they don't have a one at all. I agree. And just eliminate, and just go with the, with the top six. Yeah. 
In other words, they don't have a Either one or a two. Yeah. They don't have a one or, yeah. You don't have a one or two or, okay. or three. Oh, I think one has a one three. Oh, yeah, one has a three. Two of them but have I a three. I think one and two is good. Two of them have a three, but. Six is good. Okay. It gives us more time to ask questions, and it, it gives it, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and I, I also, you know, I think, it's, I, I, I think it's a very valid point. I think, you know, looking at this thing, you know, that being the case, but it's important also that since we have not, well, let me ask this question. Has the staff or the consultants uh, verify any references that were some, that, that any of the candidates submit references and if they were, they were those references called upon and any, any, any information? There was a background check done on all the candidates by the consultant. I'm not sure if there was references. Carol? Um, references, I'm still waiting for the consultant to get back to me. Um, I did try to call him right now and he did not answer and I texted him. So just to verify if references were done. Backgrounds, we know they were done. They were conducted. And in the background, you're, you're basically checking any criminal, or could you clarify that? What, what is the background check? It's just a criminal background check. It's just criminal, yes. okay. So it's not uh, a, a, a character reference. It's yeah. not a work ethic reference. It's not an integrity reference. Not at this point. There will be one, but not at this point. Well, yeah. Once, and, once you narrow it down, then that's when they'll do their in-person visits to their locations of those individuals to get a more field as to how they are talked to, you know, their employers, not specifically their boss, but people that they work with, people that in their community, kind of get a more feel to bring that back to this committee, this committee. I understood that we were gonna look at the top six and then as a group discuss any others that other, that the individuals would absolutely want to interview and make, if there was a case strong enough to interview that seventh person, eighth person, then we'd all agree, okay, well, let's, let's interview them. So <laughs> right now, I believe we, had, we have a solid top six. I, the question right now begs itself is, does anybody want to absolutely interview the bottom four? Mm -hmm. And if anybody really has a strong case to say, you know what, I really think we ought to interview, let's just say E, then we all, can agree or disagree, or we can discuss. Let's interview you or not interview you. But it, I think it just makes it really simple. We're already we're already where we need to be. Yeah. I agree, Mr. Chair. I agree. Yeah. The the only point I would make is what have you determined that on the top five or six there's enough derogatory information that it comes about that basically would eliminate these cameras? What would you do then? Then, then we go interview. To the next. That's what the interview is supposed to do. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're going to short this down. I mean, we, if we find that we have six candidates with derogatory information, then it's back to the drawing board we go. Well, what I'm saying is, I'm saying, would you, does that mean that you go down this list of those bottom four and bring them into the interview? That's a choice so. that we would all have to decide on later in the future. That's my point. That's a, that's, I want to yes. make sure we're clear on that because yes. that's, that, that, that's, that's been one of my concerns that we have not been able, amongst ourselves, to discuss, some of us may be privy to some information that needs to be, that may be helpful, that is public information. Yes. Okay? That, that could be shared, should be shared with all that ha may have an impact on our decision, including the decision on the ranking. Okay? Can we I discuss that, that now, Mr. Chairman? I, I, I don't have a problem discussing it <clears throat> now, uh, because that, that's, that's, that's why it's important that we come up with that final list that we want to interview. And there is, if there is anything out there uh, that, that one of us or two of us or three of us may find negative about, especially someone that, that may be in the top tier, I think I, I would want to know if somebody knew that. Yeah. I, I think that was my point, is if you find someone that you may have information about or you may know something about that you find strongly that they shouldn't be in the top six for interview, then make the case for the number seven to substitute in to, to come into the interview as well. Or narrow down the list either way. All right. But or, we have to have the discussion first to do this. I would like to have that discussion. I would like to have that discussion. Mr. Chen, uh, if I may, why would we have to add a sixth one? We could just it, interview five. Well, that's that's all. Because point. if we have the bottom four that we have just, I mean, I don't know, we haven't taken a vote, but it seems pretty clear that. Most 
most people here are Agreed. comfortable not interviewing. If we find something out about someone who's in the top tier, why would we go backwards? That's just yeah. And and and, and I will say because one of the one of the candidates, the candidate that I'm that I'm you know, referencing, and is 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 among the top six. Okay. So I I would I would like you know it's it's important that information that is public that uh, you know like you, you you have access to it but also it's information that I that, 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 that I may have I don't know anybody has any information on any other candidates but it is this is what involves one of the top six candidates based on the scorecard as as as, as it reads right now mr. chairman I'd like to ask the question what is the situation on this candidate and who is it, if I may ask? What candidate letter? This would be candidate. D is a delta. D is a delta. Yes. Okay. May I ask what the information is? Well, there's public information about because this candidate has had experiences, uh, current experience in the city that he's had, uh, that uh, that they've been. It's more beyond what's been reported in the media in regards to his character and the integrity, and that uh, I've, I've, I, I have, by virtue that I have experience in that city, uh, and I've sought uh, just on my own uh, uh, any anything out there that that beyond his, you know, uh, uh, his uh, what has been. Is there anything out there in the public realm uh, other than, than what I have read? And uh, there's an article, there's a, there's a series of articles that revolve to, to some incidents related to his character. Uh, and then as a follow-up with some discussion with some of the leadership of that community, uh, I have received word and I have been told that we should, that we, do, we will inherit a problem. Based on past experience that we've had, and 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 and, with, and and the number of lives advantages I would be concerned about bringing on a, a, a problem, knowing right now that I've got people that are that I consider, were, you know. Uh, uh, so the, the you point know, that you're, right. with all due respect, the point that you're making, uh, Mr. Chairman, is that you would like to see uh, in e interviewed. I would like to see what e interviewed. No. 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 D. You're not talking e. about D. Not interviewed. No, I, I, no, I understand not that, e. oh. but. If the, the consensus is D is in the top six, mm -hmm. we interview him, uh -huh. regardless of what the conditions may be, because we don't know all the conditions. And maybe, you, know, you may be privy to some stuff, but we, we don't. We may not be privy to all the information from all the different candidates. So, the, so if you would like for candidate E, e. which would replace, if you didn't want him interviewed, they would replace the D. But if you want E interviewed, well, then let's have the discussion to interview E. Mm -hmm. Leave, I, leave, but be there. I, I'm not I sure that's the point right now. I don't, I right don't think now. so. No. But, but I, I concur with, with committee member Galo in, in why would we want to move backwards? If we've already decided that those four on the bottom tier don't meet our standard for what we want, uh, then we, let's exclude those four. Let's talk about the six. And if one within those six doesn't meet our standard because of something five. that's surfaced, Right. That we go, okay. go down to five. Yes. That buys us more time to interview those that we feel are qualified, that we all voted for, or or ranked high enough to to bring it for an interview. That works for me. That's right. I'm like the comment. It, it does make the real quick, quick on on Mr. on um, oh, on, on, on any candidates that um, you know somebody feels very very strongly, and, I, and you know just echoing what what Miss Gallo had said in previous meetings. You know we should interview all eleven because you never know one one could get away that is really the one that. For some reason, we're not familiar, you know, real familiar with their qualities or our priorities. You know, a city manager may have 10 responsibilities. And if, as a committee member, you're focusing on these three because that's what you feel is the most important, the other seven are going to kind of go by the wayside and stuff. So we could potentially miss somebody. And that candidate, E, if you recall, has had experience in the state of New Jersey, the state of New York, you know, in numerous locations that to me could be very, very valuable in, you know, carrying out the duties of a city manager. 
Um, you know, in the early going, Mr. Garcia had mentioned about small towns, and, and yet our current city manager was in Eagle Pass, was in Del Rio, uh, or not um, uh, Eagle Pass, Del Rio, and a little town down in Arizona, and yet he's done, you know, the job. Um, he was also in Austin for a while. Right. I'm just saying. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what he was doing in Austin, but, uh, but, but you know, the towns where he were were like 40,000 people and like 17,000 people or something like that. So, and I'm just saying, going on the flip side of that spectrum, you've got an individual, you know, that was rated and so forth, ranked, uh, who has a tremendous amount of experience in large, you know, um, you know, large areas and stuff, you know. So I, I, I just wanted to mention that. I, I would just know that I think there is, there is a substantial... I say substantial, you know, you know, noticeable difference in the bottom three for the rest of the group, okay? Uh, and I don't know if anybody would have any, and the committee members would have any major objection of moving any of those bottom three for consideration for interview, and if not, then we continue the discussion at the top, whatever that number is. So my question to you all would be, uh, you know, if narrowing down, because that's the purpose of what we're trying to do here, how many people do we want to interview, what do we want to bring in for interview, based on information we have right now. Uh, and hopefully there may not be other information prior to the interview date that may pop up. But does anybody, would any of the committee members look at candidates K, F, and H and say, I absolutely think they should be considered to be brought in? Chairman, I have, I have a recommendation, just this might my I mean, can I, can I get an answer to that question? Well, that's, it has a piece to do with that question. Why Why don't we, that way it's fair, is that you make we make a motion, you know what, to go candidate by candidate and say, do we want to interview this person, yes or no? So we can all say yes or no. And the majority goes. So if we vote and we come out with just five, well, it's five it is. If we vote and say, you know what, all eight of them, then all eight of them. But that way, it's, it's not five, six, five. It's an individual. Do we vote? Do we want to uh, interview candidate uh, J? All in favor? All opposed? My favor has it. There you have one. And just go down that way. You have an exact. You have an idea of who, and, and it's fair. I like to second that motion. I like. Another, Was that a motion? Is that a motion? I just. It's a best, it's a best, it's a best. I wish that I really want to second that emotion, but they were not. I really wish that the, 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 they would have given us some more information because personally, uh, number B was in my top two, top three, mm -hmm. and then I I got some information doing research that, to me, I had I had no choice but to move him down. But he was in he was in my top two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can look at my original. He was. And and then we find out last. And then time. I find out the last thing. This this and then he, I didn't know he was leaving, and that I found out at the end. But when I started reading on on that, I said what, and it just it, it so I I I, I moved him. But he was he was he was actually in mine. He was number one. I'm not sure he said, but he was. We have a copy of it. <laughs> uh, and what any other any other wishes any other. So which way do you want to do? You want to proceed this way? Do you want to proceed? I make a motion that we do one by one that we can get everybody that we want. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. It's a motion, though. But is I, it a motion? I, I just have a question. It's How quickly can we set up the interviews? What's the, the the soonest that we can do it? So obviously, our Texas candidates will be fairly easy to to bring in, provided that they also the schedules we can work with their schedules. If a uh, worst case scenario, we can do a teleconference. I would not like that, but that would be the worst case scenario for them. The out of state, I'd like at least seven days to be able to book a decent flight um, there. But by all means, price is not the issue here. It's getting the best candidate. Mr. Chair, at this point, we're down to one out of state candidate, first of all, Texas, from what I can see here. Um, Maybe. I, so I believe so that uh, Mr. Vidaudi is already in Texas. Is, in Texas. Yeah. He's, is he still? Wait, it means, it means. No, I think they're all in Texas. Yes. Take a look. They're all in Texas. Yeah. Let me look. Okay. So can we make the motion? There's a motion on the floor. Yeah. I second that. Yeah. So there's a motion. There's a motion for us that we go by candidate to determine whether a yay or nay for an interview. Okay. Uh, and there's a second by Mr. Quake for do that. Any discussion? Okay. 
All right, there being no discussion, let's go ahead and go ahead and call for the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, so let's go ahead and start that process right now. Okay. For candidate C, yay or nay? Do, are we going to do it by motion? Motion to view. Should it be a motion? Yeah. Yeah. A motion to. Uh, we'll have a wait, wait, we'll see all you raise your hands. A motion to consider candidate. Well, you should, as a chairman. You yeah. yeah but, but my, quest, my, my question is going to be in regards to identifying the candidates that we're going to bring for interview. We'll entertain a motion for candidate C. C. Then we'll go by each candidate, right. you know, one by one. And I second so for that. candidate C, motion to consider candidate C for the interview. I need a second. I second. You second it. Okay. Any discussion? Yes. All in favor? Any discussion? Okay. Yeah. Now, are we allowed to mention? No names. No names. No names. No names. No names of the candidate. Just, just right now, it's because it's a seat. vote, and because if you make it in, you're going to have that that interview to, to air out all the, all the years. And just to get to that point. This is. Do you want to interview him? Right. Correct. Okay. Are we clear on the motion? Yes. Okay. No question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? I would say show, do it by a show of hands. Show of hands. Show of hands. We'll go. Five. Show of hands of everyone who would like candidate C to be interviewed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Seven, eight, right? Opposed? All opposed? One. Candidate B is no longer in consideration. So candidate J, okay? I need a motion to consider candidate J for interview. Motion to consider candidate J. Second. Jay, interview. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion? There being none, no discussion. All in favor? Candidate J, all in favor? Signify with show of hands. Unanimous. Seven, eight, eight. Nine, nine. 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 Sounds like it's nine. Unopposed. Candidate D, uh, need a motion to consider whether candidate D should be someone that you should be considered. For uh, interview, and I need a second a motion. Uh, a motion to interview candidate D. I second that. Motion, motion to consider candidate D <laughs> for an interview, and it's been seconded. Okay. All in favor, with show of hands to so bring in candidate D for interview. Please raise your hand. One, two. One. Two, three. Opposed? That would be one, two, three, four. Is there a chance for discussion? No. Oh, so you have to say, you have to motion discussion. Okay. So say that, discussion. A discussion? What? I think I would like to know more about why he is unfit to be considered um, as a candidate or to be brought in for an interview. Um, I did look him up and I did look through his question and answers. And um, so I, I would like uh, clarity on why he's not being considered for an interview for the position. Mr. Chairman, I, 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 I asked a similar thing about Right, I think at this time it's just that he will make your right. But I think it was not to make any comments or further comments or discussion. Right. I, I understand. You know. We can have discussion on motions, can't we? Yeah. Yes. You can have, but you can't. You can't. Because uh... I don't think this is being transparent. Like as a committee member, I have no idea why he's not. Why there's a block opposing even interviewing him? Okay. I'll be glad to answer your question. Thank you. Yeah, I'm the one. Okay. On this particular candidate, as I said, there's current leadership in that particular city and in other cities. Okay, where he's had experience, and uh, and respecting the leadership of the, those current, I value I value their opinion. People that I know, you know, and the people that know us, know even our history, you know, uh, that have, that I that I value their opinion. That have told me, Jerry, you should, you don't want to inherit a problem. You will inherit a problem if this person, 
you know, uh, you're going to uh, bring in, don't even waste your time. And I value those opinions very much. Now, it, it, some of it may be related to what's already in the public domain, that is in public, there's newspaper articles uh, that have appeared uh, in the Valley Papers about uh, his personal life, okay? Uh, I'm not judging him just on that. I'm judging him more on other leadership, you know, that, that, that within those communities, both those of the public and in the private sector, that have told me, you know, given me that, 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 that I value that, those, uh, those opinions. Okay. So the so, information provided to you is basically don't waste your time on even interviewing that individual? Cause that's correct. Okay. That's correct. I, I, I and I wanted to share that with the committee. Yes. You know, and I, I, it, I would be, I don't think it would be fair if I knew that and not, and not share it with you all. I think, um, Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, we can also share with you some articles we've Googled on him recently and provided to the entire committee, not at this minute, but after the meeting, if you wish. Um, or after. Or, or after. Before, if you want to like put this vote after the others, we could try to get that for you. Or, or yeah, or you want to skip it, and we'll try to go, go look for that information. Well, I just feel like there are a lot of people on this committee that know something about him that others of us don't. And um, I looked him up online. I saw in his Q and A, he talked about a situation where he was accused of something by the sister of the ex-wife, but he was cleared of that. And I see also he was. Uh, at Infar, Texas, from 2007 to 2018, he seemed to over oh, uh, turn around their finance department and was in Edinburgh and ran into political problems with the police chief, as many of these candidates have also experienced. I'm not really interested in the politics that they encounter with their mayor or their or their police chief. I'm interested in in. Um, their experience and what they can do to run municipalities. So I'm just kind of stunned, I think, at the block that doesn't even want to give him an interview because I don't have information and I don't feel comfortable saying, and with all due respect, uh, Chairman, you have extensive experience knowing lots of people along the border and you value their, 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 their words, but I think as a committee member, I cannot say, well, I'm going to value a third party person whom I don't even know that spoke with you about this person and say, I'm not going to give this guy even an interview. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, and I don't feel comfortable saying, well, I'll go ahead and not give him an interview and just read articles about him later after the fact. That's I do real quick, I, I, I understand where you're coming from, but it's just not one opinion. I think if you actually look, you had six people or five people. I'm not basing myself, I based myself on some information that he gave, but I based myself on, on other stuff. Uh, so I, I think it's the will of the board. I wish we can get everybody in, but we, we decided that we'd vote on the individual and he didn't make it in. And I don't think there's a way to put him back in because if it was a close or a tie, then we would say he said, but it was not even, it was not even a, a close a vote. And I'm sure everybody had an opinion why they voted no. We all have our opinions. We all have our opinions and we all have access to our different sources, you know. And that's why I began this discussion saying, were references verified? Was anything submitted? There being none. Some of us have had have the ability to have either have access to information, whether some of you or us will Google something that may be in the public domain, or there may be something in the private domain that you're also privy to. All I'm saying is that, you know, you have your vote, I have my vote, is that I base my decision on, on what I've received information that I'm sh sharing with you all. You can you have every right to, to agree with, to agree or not agree, whichever way you want. Uh, now, that's that's your prerogative. Uh, I just, you know, knowing that we have some candidates right now that we're trying to decide who to come in for an interview, and we're talking about, you know, moving quickly and time elements, so we want to narrow down from 11 to 6 to 5 to 4 to 3, and we want to get to that point, you know. I, I uh, that's that's where, I'm, that's where I'm coming from. Yeah. If, there, if, if, if I have information that I'm access, I, so I've shared right now. Uh, it's up to you which way you you know would choose to to, to, to accept it or not. That's why we go I, forward. I understand, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think why I feel surprised at the block uh, against him is because this was due yesterday, and we met last week. And as of yesterday, the rankings on him had come in. Although we met last week. The majority of people here had him in their top six, with the exception 
of two of the nine of us, he, he ranked, somebody ranked him six, first, first, six, fourth, seventh, second, third. And then there's like this uh, dramatic shift. I think I'm just um, uh, probably naive to the whole game here, but I am surprised at this dramatic shift based on how he was ranked by the majority of us. And now the majority has shifted and there seems to be information that has been shared with some and not all or discussed among some and not all. And I just feel that that's wrong. Well, that's why this is this committee is committee work. Mm -hmm. And as a committee, we're sharing with each other the information that we have as at our disposal as of today. OK, as a matter of fact, I, you know, I in my own ranking that I submitted, I did my own check in as well. And with those with with my own verification. So whether anyone else did that, you know, or not, they had every right to do so. And I did it upon, took it upon myself, and I thought it was very relevant to put it on the table today, discussing with staff, that I would, that I, would I, I think it would be a, a, a shortfall of my responsibilities not to share that with everyone, even though I found out about it, I found out about it yesterday. What I, now, the same thing can happen next, the next tomorrow, if any of these candidates that we choose for interview, okay, or whatever that prior to that interview, that we find out, you know, anything that would be substantially, you know, negative for us to go through that process because we don't want to, you know, I don't say waste anybody's time. We want to make sure we have the, the right candidates because of the responsibility that we have, uh, that we've been charged with. I, you know, and someone tells me, I, I take that. Now, if you want, if you want to, if, if, for my opinion, that's why I said we're going to this process of voting. You have your right. I have my, I have my vote. And, the other and, thing, and that's in, why. In, I, that, in that breath, my number one chair, my number one pick. After I read something right before twelve yesterday, I just like you I did. Just like you did. One to seven or one to eight. And I, I thought it was good until I, I did research, did a more research, and I said, wow. So I understand where that's coming from. And actually, my number one and number two, I found out something, and I moved them to the middle, uh, and I got and I and I and I changed, and I submitted a changed ranking, and then at night I had a panic, and then I did find something out about this candidate last night after, and it's very recent, so it wouldn't be in our packet, so that is why I'm not comfortable. Well, then, and in my case, I. I made the change. I had this candidate ranked high. I found out information. I made the change to rank them, rank him sixth. I still think he deserves an interview. But if the committee, as a vote, decides that he shouldn't be interviewed, I accept the, the decision of the committee, and that's what we're here for. It may not go my way all the time, but you know, it's the, the committee's decision. And if we choose to, to only interview five or four or six, that's the committee's choice here, and I think that's the way we need to go. So, Chairman, I make, uh, after the conversation, I make a motion to, to accept to interview number six, number G. Wait, did we vote on uh, D already? We, we, we voted on, we voted on D. You on D, to, I'm, I'm winning. I'm, we we I, voted on, oh, we, we had a vote on, on D right there's, now. There's, there's, that, there's still discussion. We haven't finalized the vote. Right. We voted already. Oh, okay. we voted already. D. It's supposed to be discussion. No. And so I it's not. D. You did not finish the vote. On D. Yeah, so D? So there's not finished it. Oh, it's okay. at three to it was seven. a motion to discuss. It was, three it was a discussion seven. item. No, 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 it's not no, no, final no. yet. I counted a show of hands. I did too, but then there was discussion. The motion was not completed. But it should have been before that. We, how could we have she voted? Really, you say motion to approve. You need to say motion to approve okay. D. Okay. So now it's but not, it's two not. So the vote is three, yes, six, no. And you need to say motion to approve. Oh, okay. And then. Okay. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, the problem is, the, the, the issue is that we've already had that vote. And so we had already had that vote and, and we should have procedurally opened, opened the discussion again, the vote again, because we had already polled the members and, and I didn't called the for the question. To I did not hear the motion to approve. Okay, yeah. but, it, it, but it was, was made. And there was a call, there was a motion and a second, a call for the question, said, show of hands. You're right. And then she came back and asked, to have a discussion. Procedurally, what we should have done is we should have on the second re motion to reconsider, motion. to have the discussion, allow her comments to come in, and then revote. That is correct. So I procedurally I think we ought to, if we're going to 
take in her comments. So then, uh, procedurally, then I think we need to, to motion to re reconsider uh, the vote on candidate D. Is there a motion? So moved. There's a second. There's a, there's a motion to reconsider the vote of candidate D to bring in for an interview. Is there a second? Second. Okay, and it's second. Okay. So there's a motion on the floor now to vote for candidate D to be brought in for an interview to show of hands. All in favor, raise your hand. One, two. I'm sorry, let me, let me it's, the motion is to, re, to do the reconsideration so we can open take it, it our cup. So just open. That's right. And so let's do that motion just to reconsider. Just, just to reconsider. That's right. Let's, 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 let's show a vote of hands just to reconsider the motion. All in favor? Okay. Reconsider. One, two, three, okay. four, five, Everybody. seven. All five. opposed? It doesn't matter. You know, it, I oppose it. So now is there a motion? So the motion to... Uh, the way it's phrased with the others to bring in candidate D for an interview. The motion has been made to uh, allow now. candidate D to be to be brought in for an interview. Is there a second? Yes. Okay. There's a second. Okay. So let us a show of all the hands. How many would like for this candidate? Yay or nay? Yay. How many yays for him to come in for an interview? Raise your hand. One, two, One, two three. How many? No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Thank you. Uh, candidate G. Motion to consider candidate G. Motion to consider candidate second. G. Is there a second? There's a second. Okay. Again, this is for bringing for the interview. All in favor of bringing the candidate G for the interview, raise your hand by saying yes. Okay. Aye. Aye. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine yeas, zero noes. Okay. Motion to consider candidate A. There's a motion to consider candidate A for bringing for the interview. Was there a second? Second. Okay. Motion been made and seconded. Okay. All those uh, questions, sir. And, and anyone, all in favor of you? Next to fire, raise your hand by saying yay. Interview? For an interview, for the interview, for the interview. Oh. This is for the interview. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. N nays? One. I was, yeah, I was, I was eight. Yeah. So there was eight, you're, so, so there were eight yays? You were a yay? I was a yay. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so eight and one. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Motion to consider candidate I for an interview. Second. Motion has been made to consider candidate I for an interview and a second. Been made. Bring candidate I for purposes of an interview. Okay. By a show of hands, signify by saying yay. Bring candidate I. One, two, three, four, five, five six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's show one, eight. Show eight yays, noes. One no. Okay. There was one no. Okay. Okay. Any further considerations? Mr. Chairman, this is uh, five that are yay and one that are no out of the six candidates. Except Just to point that out. Correct. So we're, we're in candidate E. Is there any motion for us to consider? Uh, bringing candidate E to uh, uh, for an interview. As a chair, I can make that motion. So I make that motion that we consider candidate E for uh, interview. Second. Yeah, a second. Okay. Now let's go ahead and vote. Any yeas? By show of hands for inviting candidate E for an interview. Raise your hands. One, two, okay, two. And then I would say then question on nays. One, two, three, four, five. And there's one here that. Oh, yes. Okay. So basically, okay. I'm a nay. Seven. Seven. All right. 
We have three or four, four candidates. Uh, should we, I guess, consider the bottom three one by one? Let's go down the line one more time. I think there's any purpose to be fair. Let's just go down to all of them. Yes, sir. Candidate K, is there a motion to consider candidate K to bring in for an interview? There is a motion that's been made. Is there a second? Is there a second? There is no second, so the motion dies. Candidate F. Is there a motion to consider candidate F for consideration to bring for an interview? No motion? No motion. Candidate F is not considered. And candidate H. Is there a motion to consider candidate H for consideration for an interview? Is there a motion? No motion? Then candidate H will not be considered. So according to what I have here from staff, and correct me, you know, the committee has selected the following candidates to be invited for an interview. To be, to be set. That a, that a and day. this will be no, no order, so maybe you could. No order, no set order right. of selection. It's just interviews. Right. Candidates C is in Charlie. Candidate J is in Juliet. Candidate G is in Golf. Candidate A is in Alpha. Candidate I as in India. Does that match the staff records? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So the following candidates, first by elimination, candidate B, not, not considered, but candidate B is in Delta, B is in Echo, K is in Kilo, M is in Foxtrot, H is in Hotel. Those candidates will not be invited for the interview. Correct? Yes. Any, anyone has any questions about that? A question. Yes. Uh, how will it be determined? Will it be okay. a Okay, that's a our next that's item, and we'll, next we'll item. give you that's the procedure the, for the next item. item. On the agenda. That's on the agenda. Okay. So that'll cover this item of the agenda. Thank you all very much. I know this is this required a lot of work and a lot of thinking, and um, and, and that's part of the. I think I I, I commend the committee uh, for for uh, their, their their time and energy because this is what we're trying to do here. We're, we're coming down to the wire, trying to make. You know, the best recommendation to the, to the city council. We do have to consider now the item in regards to the uh, the order of which applicants will be interviewed. Okay. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, we've come up with a method, method, and by all means, we're open to any other method. So, listing the candidates in alphabetical order, putting them in a, a box or a bag, mixing them all up. And then you all can select a name out of the bag, and that's the order that we will do the interviews. Mm -hmm. Is that an acceptable method? If you have another method, we are certainly open to it. Yeah. Who selects on the committee? That's going to be the uh, who chairman. Who pulls out of the bag? <laughs> oh my gosh! We'll, we'll have, we have the city poster. secretary who was present in the audience. <laughs> oh. Can, who can pull out the names? There you go. I, I, I would have a recommendation. Yeah. I think Ms. Wallace from the Laredo Morning Times would be able to do that. <laughs> can pull out another name, yes. We can certainly do that. What was the, what was the recommendation? I, so we put all the names that were selected, the names. Now we can release the names, right, of who was going to be interviewed in no specific order. We put the names in a bag, we mix up the bag, and we pull uh -huh. out the names, and that would be the order of who would be first to be interviewed, second, third, fourth, fifth, to not give anyone a preference on, you know, the last is the best, the or the, the first draw. is the best, or whatever, you know, methodology people are thinking. Well, anyone have any major objections to that? Yeah, but why, why are we not just do a, time, a time frame and do it alphabetically? We can certainly do that too. That's what I'm saying. Right? We have, we're open to anything. They're, they're, they're different. They're, they're, they don't have five people waiting for you. Yeah. They're, they're, you get me? they're different ways of doing it. You right. can go alphabetically. Yeah, but you're talking about. Just let it be more exciting to pull out the names. Are oh, they going to do before? <laughs> Mr. You can Mr. Go Chairman, by color of their hair. You can do well, whatever you process want. process of selecting the order is right now. We're going to select oh, it right now. Okay, that's yes. fine. This I thought order. the day of. We did no, that at the district. We had them all in one room and brought them out one by one. We're selecting the order now. Selecting the order of the interview. Okay. 
at it anyway. Do we need a motion, Mr. Chairman? I don't think we need a motion. Okay. Just Would you like this process? Does anybody have any objections to that? If not. I, I just wanted to make I just wanted to make sure, Mr. Chairman, that based on our conversation last week, that we're gonna have everybody on one day, not split them up. That's what we would with, like. With this number, I believe that's feasible, Mr. Chairman. I think that's what we would like. So we'll just, get, we well, hopefully, we get to that day. Don't so, fold them yet, because we want to make sure that the chairman confirms the names before we put them in the bag. You can you can put the letters right now. We can put the letters right now. The, no, we'll because we've talked about letters and. I just wanted Ms. Wallace to be the one to pick okay. it because I understood that, 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 that the Loretta Morning Times had a say in this in this in this process too. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, uh, before we move forward, do we need a motion um, to uh, an appearance uh, point about interviewing everybody in the same day? Do we need to make that motion before we I don't, move forward? I don't, I, I don't think so. I think we're all in agreement that we have enough candidates. Well, that's, that's, that's the next, the next, that's, next that's item. The next item. Oh, I see. The, the so, next item will be the date that we look at. The, right, the, that's the, the next date. item. The, 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 the date right is, is when you can make that by. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Chair, just because the item is an action item, then, then a motion should, should be made to, one, um, do the selection process through a random drawing, right, with names on paper. That motion? I'm making that motion. Yeah, second. And, may, just a clarification, who's going to do the drawing? Is it city secretary? And to allow the drawing. <laughs> Julia Walker. And allow Julia Wallace, Wallace to do the drawing. <laughs> well, be, I don't mind, but. There'll be someone who's present today. Uh, right. City secretary? Yeah. We'll city allow the city secretary to do it. Yeah, I, I would recommend that. Yeah. That's an official type of thing. Right. So a, mo a motion a motion would be to, to do the. The flip side of that is is that we have a citizen doing it as opposed to someone from the city. That's what I, that, to be honest with you, that's what I, 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 in all due respect. You know, so that nobody says, uh, that, you know, because. They can take, they can take okay. turns if they want to. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know. One, 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 the other. One the word one. is going to spread that, that it was done by the city secretary. So we say, ah, no, el, el sabia, you know. Fix. Something's going to happen. So I'm, I'm, I'm just throwing that out, you know, for discussion. We're, we're an interesting city. I just want to say, uh, I think we should allow Julia to make the decision. She's covering this story, and then she's going to be part of the story. And as a former reporter, that's a very strange feeling. Nothing's, I mean, nothing strange in this city, no. It's, it's, well, that's true, too, but still. So no, I think we here. should. Well, Mr. Ben Mavis, we, 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 no we can always look for a uh, private uh, citizen uh, if you allow us a couple minutes. What's the recommendation again? So the motion is to determine the order of the interviews. Okay. By random drawing <clears throat> with names on paper selected by a member of our audience. I think or an alternate we should just members have the of chair our, do it. By I, members in, of our audience. In my opinion, I think we should have the chair do it. We were charged with this but task. Then let me amend my motion to just be the, the, the method in which we're going to, the, to choose, okay. and then who chooses okay. that's a separate motion. I second that. The chair. Okay. So the motion is right now is that we have random selection based on, um, on basically all the candidates to establish the order of the interview. Second. They'll be a randomly selected by an individual. That's the motion. motion. Is there a second? Second. Yes, yeah, second. Okay. Carol, will you please give the names to the chairperson so that he can uh, verify? We haven't, we haven't, we haven't gotten that far. We haven't selected. <laughs> We're taking one step at a okay. time. I know we're trying to deviate it. We're deviating a little bit. You know, it's it's already one one ten. So. Uh, uh, that's the motion. Call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Sorry. Okay. Now, who motion to who, who does the draw? Who does the selection based on the random drawing? I would like to make the motion that you, as chair of our committee, um, I'll second that motion. Choose the no. Okay. And then, will that motion be made in the presence of anyone in particular, staff or right anybody else? Right here. Right here. Right here. Very good. Right here, right now. So, that's the motion. That's the motion. has been made. Is there a second? I second it. Okay. And motion has been made and seconded. And, and, and any discussion? There being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it. Okay. So, Carol, will you show him the, the, the names before we put them in the bag and mix them all up? To and confirm that either. all the candidates <laughs> that you selected. Vice Chair, do you want to <laughs> make sure? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you go over there and make sure all the right names all are the, there. The names are there. <laughs> We want to make sure that everybody sees all the right names. I'd be glad to show them to everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, on this side of this side of the table. Five, yeah, five. One, five. Two, three, four, five. Yes, that's right. Five, five pieces of paper going in with the names. Here goes. For the record, everyone everyone has had a chance to verify that all the individuals that we had just selected to be for the interview are included in this random selection to yes. select the order, right? This yes, is sir. the order now. But yes. I'll now I will draw for the for the candidates to be ordered. Is this going to be the first the candidate? First, Who's going to mix the bags? Yes. <laughs> Make a motion. Is this going to be the first candidate? Point of clarification. Sure. Last and last what is first. the order? Is the first pick the last or the first pick the first? The first, first, first. The first pick is the first? first, first. To be interviewed. Okay. Yeah. All right. First, first pick, is pick is the first to be interviewed. Yes? Okay. All right. I'm just trying to be good with cool about it. Can you make a motion on that? All right. Uh, candidate J will be first. And the name, you, you can always say the name. Can I say his name? You can say the name. Yeah. That'll be Mr. Samuel K. Selvin. Second person. Me, just the name would suffice. Yeah. Just the name, please. Robert Eats. Two. Gilbert Perales. Number three, Jose Armadigal. Number four, and Mr. Corby Alexander will be number five. So once again, Mr. Selman will be number one, Mr. Eats. Robert Eats, number two, Mr. Gilbert Perales, number three, Mr. Jose Marigan, number four, and Mr. Corby Alexander would be number five. So that'll be the order of the interview. Okay. So now we want to have a any questions? No. Okay, now we want to have a discussion in regards to possible dates, the rules for the interview. I guess staff has already advised us that they're going to. You know, look at there's some there. There's, it looks like it's they're all, all state. They're all from Texas. Oh, yes, they are, sir. They're all from Texas. Uh, so uh, now the question will be looking at possible dates for the interview. And uh, we'll open to suggestions. So looking at dates. You got your okay. sophisticated gadgets. So as a reminder, um, the 21st is the council meeting. Just to make sure that. You all aware that that date is, is already pretty much reserved. Well, we have we have there's there's a city council meeting on the 21st, and you know I I will tell you that I I I have a conflict with that date. I, right. I may not and be so back in time. I may I'll be flying back that that date, so I don't want. To, I may not be here in time for the meeting. You know, 21st of this month. 21st of this is, month is reserved. It doesn't right. mean that the vice chair could not report to the city council this so decided. Oh, yeah. so we're not. Um, yeah, if we choose, if we choose. To. To go before the city council and make any, 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 any you know, I, I don't know we even have to. We can, no, we're, we're we, we can just share with, oh, with the council the candidates' names more. formally, and then we're scheduled the interview. That's what that's what you all want, or you all want to consider. You know, we've got we're basically, I can't do anything before the twenty first, which is next week, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. that's kind of that's kind of quick to get them down here anyway. Yeah, yeah. to pass. Are we looking at the month of February now, Mr. Chairman? Or yes. The end of January, I think. Uh, Ms. Cavell, yes. Uh, you you mentioned you need a courtesy of at least seven days. Well, now that we're in Texas, I'm pretty sure that we can work within calendars. But I'm, I just want to make sure that the candidates themselves can make make it. Are we considering Saturdays or not really? It's up to the committee. Considering we're considering any days, really. I think. 
but, but it could be a weekday as well. There's a there's a date that's been put on as January. There's a 27th, okay. the 28th, the last week of January, for example. Can we look at the last week of January? Okay, may I also make another comment? For the 30th, we have the state of the city, and we will not be available from 5.30 or 5 o'clock uh, in the evening. We will not be available so, in the evening on the 30th. But we could certainly be available during the day. Can we consider uh, the Fridays and Saturdays of January 24, 25, January 31, February 1? Those were not available to, to some committee members. Every single weekend that we oh. um, oh, requested, okay. someone was out. On the Saturday? On the Saturday. On the Saturday? How about the 28th of January? No, I'm not available. I'm unavailable. 29th? 29th Twenty nine. Yes. Twenty nine. The twenty ninth, I'm available. I'm good. Twenty nine. I'm available. Good twenty. Can we also consider a fallback on the thirty first? Maybe. Let's, let's, let's look at let's look at a couple of dates. Let's look at Friday. 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 Okay. Wednesday and Friday. The twenty ninth, I'm available. But they're going to make airline. They're going to be out. It's going, we're we're going to have to pick the, you know and be hard on the twenty ninth probably. That sounded like it works. But the staff is busy or not? With the the. The State yeah. of the Union is the next day. Yeah. Wednesday the 29th came up. <clears throat> I'm good Wednesday. I'm out of town Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, Saturday. You're Saturday. not in town 30 or 31. Yeah. You're not 29. 30, 31 for a second. <coughs> you better not be going to the Super Bowl, yet. If you are, I'm going to have problems. Rosario, can you give us an opinion on the 29th? On the 29th. 29. We'll check with our city secretary to see if this room is available. On the 29th. 29. 29. 29. 29. 29. 29. And what as time? A, as a, as a, an all-day all event? Wednesday. It has to be an all-day yeah, It has to be all-day. Yeah, okay. the twenty not the entire day, even up to the evening. Yeah, that's fine. Right. We have five candidates, and if you average, like we said, two hours a candidate, you know, you're going to be there all day. All day. All day. All the entire day. You're going to be on ten hours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the twenty ninth is, is 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 a primary, and and as a, as an as an alternate the, date. Yes, because the consultant must be here also. This is a date that he required, he insists to be here. So I want to make sure also that the consultant is available on the 20th. Can you text have a choice. Him? Okay, so, so subject to reviewing with the consultants as well. The 29th. Be here on the 29th. We're looking at the 29th. Can you give us an alternate date just in case? So let's look at an, al an alternate February date. February 3rd, February 4th. February the 3rd is a city council meeting. I'm not available the 4th or the 3rd. The 27th of how January? About, how about the 5th of February? Move forward a little bit. The, how about the 6th of February? Thursday. The 6th? I am available. I will not be here. I'll be out, I'll be out the 5th, 6th, and 7th. January 27th. How about the 8th? January 30th. Nope, yeah, I'm Trisha's, not available. Trisha's watching birds. <laughs> if 29th works for most everybody, we ought to try to... 29th will be on travel? 29th will be on travel? Or I heard 29th. No, 29th, oh, we're all available to interview. No, except for oh. January. No, no, no. We're all here. 29th, we're all here. 29th, we're all here. It's just the alternate date. 27th of January is an alternate... I'm not available the 27th. Fe February 3rd? I'm not available the 27th. February 3rd? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. February 4th? February 4th as a plan? No, I was not available on February 4th. I'm not available the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. <coughs> February 10th? February 10th. <laughs> February 10th. Let's just hope 29 makes it. I know. I'm available the 10th. I'm available the 10th. Let us check on the 10th. What's in the book? February the 10th? Yeah. Again, we would like all committee members to be present for the interviews. February the 10th. Yeah. Okay. February the 10th is available for this room. And the consultant, though, we are pending. Yes. Also. Okay, so we'll hold, hold this room and plan for the 27th, and if not the 20, I mean, I'm sorry, the 29th, and if not the 29th, the 10th of February. Okay. I'm not sure anything happened before that. Now, I, I do want to make sure that, that 
that was there any information? We have five candidates, guys, okay, folks, you know, my fellow committee members. If there's anything that, that, that anyone becomes aware of before the interview date that we could share with everyone on any of these candidates, yeah, that, you know, substantial enough, I mean, I don't, don't want to say, that, that nothing that's not been included in the, in the questionnaire or in the, uh, you know, but then some substantial, significant to, to, for all everyone to know that we could share with each other. There's no issues with that, right, staff? Correct. Yeah. As of now. As of now. Yeah. So the interview date's been set, right? As Will of, we vote on that, Mr. Trump? So of January the 29th, you know, is the primary date, and we'll look at an alternate alternate date as well. Of what we're the October. Okay. Yes. So that will be a motion. To, is there a motion to reset that date for the so next for the chair. interview? Second. The motion been made and seconded. All in favor? Uh, I, 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 aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you very much. Perfect. We have not only selected, not only have we scored, we've selected candidates and we've set dates for the interview. Congratulations to the committee. We're one step further. <laughs> yeah. Sure. yeah. One more item. Huh? Ground rules. The, the 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 challenge will be now will be when we get closer to the interview date, what what are go how we're going to conduct those interviews, okay? And that's in itself is a discussion. We, next we, item. So do we? we that's the next item. So okay. So uh, I want to make sure that there that that uh, everybody has ample opportunity to share their views because. We had plenty of discussion this last week, and there's some concerns still in regards to the questions and how we go about with the questions. We had asked everyone to submit a series of questions that they felt comfortable of, of, of that, that they wanted to be considered. Uh, but there's also the question is, can, you know, can we also ask other questions? And I think staff has informed us that you want to limit the number of questions and the, the questions be kept in general terms to all the candidates. That's what I heard staff before. So I'm you know, I think there should be some discussion about that. I've got some questions that I've that I've come up with. It's not there's only four, but that doesn't mean they're the only ones that I, you know, am, 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 fo am focusing on the candidates. But there are other questions that I would like to ask based on their presentation or Mr. Chairman, are we setting a time limit? We have said we 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 Mr. just Man, discussed we, the, we have the, also a presentation already prepared. Do we want to discuss? Let me, answer, that. let me just answer this question. That we did set up a had the discussion where they would have a 20 minute period of time that could be extended to 30 minutes of presentation, and now and then have an hour of questions. So that basically limited it to an hour and a half to an hour 20 an hour and a half for candidates. That's the time that had been discussed. But the, uh, that's why the question of control by the chair, you know, if there's, you know, seems that the questions, you know, need to continue, then we'll continue. The best, you know, I don't want to limit ourselves when we see that we have some critical questions of the calendar that we want to continue to do. So I don't want to tell you, I want to cut it off exactly as one and a half and no more questions. I have not prepared to do that. I think, you know, I think my we, we do need I to don't, make, I'm not going to go into a four-hour discussion, <laughs> there, but I don't I want to make sure. We do need to make a time limit because that was just a recommendation, but the board itself hasn't made any kind of decision yet. That's that's yeah. that's that's what was that's what the, the in the minutes of you show that's what we discussed that we would have agreed upon that it would, did we agree we upon make, based on the no. recommendation. Oh, the we need a vote on staff. It. Okay. We take a vote on that. Yeah. And, 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 and it's not a motion, but that, I think if you look at the minutes, going back and so you look at the minutes. It was their the recommendation, discussion. but we never voted on their recommendation. There's so. discussion on yeah. I think, I, I, I just, I just, want to, I just want to make sure that everybody understands that we're, we're, we don't, you know, I guess we've got one day to do it all, you know. So if you want to set a time, you know, limitation, you know, uh, uh, I'm, I'm open to that. I just want to make sure that everybody understands that you know, the best questions perhaps are the ones that are never going to be asked, you know, so I want to make sure that we don't, we, we don't make that a, if, if I see as a chair, I'd like to get the product that, that the question has not been completed, or maybe it's a second question, I don't want the, the clock to say you can't answer that question. 
Well, first of all, um, Mr. Chairman, would it be in order for me to mo make a motion that no candidate go beyond two hours in the interview, and then you can end it before two hours, but not to I exceed don't have, two I hours? Don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second. Yeah, that, that's perfect. Let me put a timeline. Okay. Um, All right. Question. Will we have uh, like five minutes in between interviews, or what? What sort of a break are we going to have in between? We'll have a break. We'll, we'll need a break. Trust me, we'll need a break in between. We'll five minutes, ten minutes. Six, uh, ten, fifteen minutes. Yeah. I mean, in between candidates. Yeah. So we can do an hour and forty-five minutes. So you'll have fifteen minutes in between each, if you so wish. Yeah. Or if we stay with the two hours, then we just don't have a break in between those two. And if, if well, you we finish have breaks. earlier, you, you can step out a little that, bit. That doesn't mean we're going to take all this time. Yeah. It, may, it may be. It may be. Up it's going to be a long day. Up to two hours. Yeah, my, my motion was not to exceed two hours right. per candidate. So right. we might right. finish with someone in not an hour on. and a half. Right. Right. So uh, there's a motion not to exceed the, the interview, not to exceed two hours of the interview. Uh, is there a second? Second. There's a second. Yeah. Motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Yeah. All right. You know, we're still going to, now we, have, we still have the issue of the questions. And I think that's where we're at. Not everybody, does anybody have any questions they want to submit? Before we get to the questions, um, can you make a motion to allow for a presentation by the candidate? And how long would that be? Well, we did. We had that discussion. We had that discussion. That's why in the minutes, I, I we wanted, want to be able to give the candidate. Yeah, I want to make sure that everybody was well, clear. Like to make a motion to, it, to 20, 20, minutes. Had 20 You had 20 minutes of the presentation. Of the presentation. Yeah, 20 minute presentation. There was discussion to extend it to 30 minutes. Okay. That's where, again, again, to the minutes, I, had, I, I, I opened it up today and say, if someone goes beyond 20 minutes, I don't cut them off. They go 25 minutes. If we feel it's relevant, if I feel it's relevant. Right. The, the only thing is, and I don't understand where you're coming from, but the only thing is we have to vote on it, so it, it, it's in the record. A record. What they did was a recommendation, and we we're, we're going to go back and look at it, because we said if there's seven candidates, then it's less time. If it's five candidates, we have more time to give. But right now, we're at that stage that, you know what, yeah, that was just a recommendation. Uh, now we have more time, so we can give you 30 minutes or 25 minutes, whatever you want. This was supposed to be kind of our basis of Right, that's what just a base. Right here. Right. So I like to make. I like the I like the idea of thirty minutes or twenty five no. minutes to make the presentation. Give us a little more time so we can. No do more that. than thirty minutes. No you more wanna, than thirty you minutes. Amend your motion. I'd like to, amend, I'd like to go ahead and amend to... my motion to make it to allow for twenty five minutes of presentation time, with five additional minutes uh, at the discretion of the chairman. So move. Not second. to exceed thirty minutes. Second. Yeah. The motion to be made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed. Okay. All right. Now you have an hour and 15, 30 minutes of questions. Okay. So then you have, yeah, an hour and a half to what ask questions. Rules? What about questions? What are the issues of this committee in regards to questions? Because their staff had, made, had also made a recommendation to limit to no more than two questions per committee member. I'd like, I would personally like to support the recommendation for two questions per, per uh, uh, committee member. And then, if time permitting, allow a lottery system draw by each one of us to to ask additional questions. So that anyone has an opportunity to be able to ask, correct? No, it's, 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 well, it's a draw. Well, because everyone has at least can ask two questions. Yeah, and everybody at least is allowed to ask two questions. And then, if there's time permitting for additional questions, it's a lottery system. In other words, just like we draw names, like. You're going to go first, second, third, and after you're, then we move on to the next person to allow. So, and are these questions, that are, so what about, are these questions that were already included in the questionnaire or beyond the questionnaire? I think beyond. beyond. I'm, asking, I'm, then, asking, I'm asking the committee I just question. wanted to say, if, every, if everybody has two I, questions, that's 18 questions. If five minutes, that's, you know, can be rather lengthy. That's 90 minutes already. That's the hour and a half. Yeah. That's about right. That's about right. So all I'm saying is that it, um, I mean, assuming they take all five minutes, if we, if there's some pressing follow-up question based on what they said or what was revealed or some new information comes out, you know, that there be, that we give ourselves some wiggle room 
a follow up question. Talk about a follow up question. I, I don't know. Or maybe, maybe we, we restrict we, how long they can answer. Can, I don't know. Just to give us a wiggle give us the room. option of asking a follow up question each of us as we go along. Give me two questions, and then, yeah, and then the follow -up. first question you can follow up with a, with a question on their answer. Yeah. Uh, but again, my question is, I, I do not want, I would not want to share something that's already in the questionnaire and just going to be repetitive. Right. You, know, yeah, I mean, you right. might want to get a clarification. It may not was not clear. That's your before your question. That's one of your questions. Question. Right. One of your but, questions. But 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 not but not uh, but not, not not to be repetitive. You know. I, well, I think that's fair. If you ask a question, your second question can be a follow-up, or it can be a completely different question. And then I'm sure someone might follow up on your question. Mm -hmm. I, I would think we would help each other out that way. Mr. We would all want to probably. Okay. Mr. Chair, the other, the other side that I would like to put on the table is, is if I only have one question during the process, he answers most of my questions. I have one question left. Somebody else may have another question. May I yield my question to someone else? Uh, of course. So that if somebody has a third question <clears throat> or a rebuttal of something you may have been said, they can take my question and, and use yeah. that. Mr. Chairman, this is where you, I believe you come in right. as the control. You, mm -hmm. you right. have the option to allow us or not. Right. I will. That's it. Time permit. I will. Yeah, time permit. Of course. I have we no start follow up with so doing that. So, 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 start with so two, your motion is. So your motion is for two questions. To start with two questions and then time for to allow for two questions and a follow up. And then, if time if time permitting, you follow up. And then the, the decision on how that follow up is chosen, um, I would have to say we'd have to draw numbers at the beginning of the thing, and then that way, okay, I you choose the the first follow up question. And and. The firm has will advise each candidate in regards to the present the value of the importance of their presentation. Now, what we're saying is that look, you got to cover as much as what you got in this period of time. Mm -hmm. You know, if not, it may, you know, you may be there may be an issue there that won't be asked that that, that may, you know, not help you. you know. sure. You want to put things in there or answer all the questions in your presentation? These questions can vary from candidate to candidate based on what information we want from them about I, I a particular would, area. I would suggest that at least one question is similar to each candidate, and that way you get that same question responded to each candidate. If we have nine similar <clears throat> questions for each candidate, and then a totally different question, however you want to do it, that's in at your discretion, but at least we have nine, like you have nine of your same questions that I get to hear from every candidate. So I, I would like to have that op opportunity. Yeah, and at the, the same breath, I'd like to see if we would consider that the first question, you're right, everybody have a question but on a topic, so we don't cross our, 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 our question. Because I, I wouldn't want to turn in my question to anybody because then it can leak. Yeah. And somebody might have an advantage. I want to be able to bring my question that day and present my questions that day on a topic. And the chairman can decide, you know what, well, you, your first question is based on downtown or whatever it is. And the second question could be whatever question you want to ask. Uh, I think that's just fair. And that's, that's the, would be my motion to include this. The first question would be a consistent question that we would ask each candidate. And the second question is completely up to you, however you want to ask it and you don't even have to submit your second question. And Is there any issues that were for staff? As far as a human resources um, perspective and to make sure that everything is fair, we would advise that the questions that are asked are the same to ensure that each candidate has the opportunity to address whatever issue it, it may be. So if the topic is um, economic development, a question, you know, is tell me about this, about whatever the topic may be, right? So that's one thing. Um, as far as follow -up. the follow-up questions, if it is related to something that they said, you can ask for clarification or for them to add more about that specific scenario <laughs> that they provided you. Um, third, I would advise just to ensure that these are legal questions. Um, in you know, to ensure that we're not violating any EEOC laws as far as what it is that we're asking of them or for them. Family or health. Religion, medical condition, 
uh, well, veteran status, citizenship status, all of those types of questions, which well, are illegal. I think if you can, you know, if you want to give us some guidelines on that, sure. but I, I, I would really, you know, I, I don't know about asking the same question to every candidate because based on the information that they submitted and based on that 20 minute presentation, each candidate has an opportunity to tell us some, as much about themselves. And then based on that presentation, it may trigger a question at that point for that particular candidate or a clarification. And I don't think that it's fair that we have to stick to, I mean, I understand the religion, the, you know, this, that, whatever beliefs and everything, but as far as business questions, as far as performance questions, you know, we, we need to, to see how they perform and how they respond at the spur of the moment. You know, we're not, practicing a dance routine here that, that they're going to perform, that we're going to judge on. I mean, this is, you know, to be city manager of Laredo, and, and, and they need to be able to respond at the drop of a hat on a particular question. My only response, and it's certainly up to you what you'd like to do, my only response is that any candidate can say, that was a loaded question. You didn't ask this of your top pick, let's say, and so therefore the, the process was unfair. It's not to say that it will happen, it's just um, something for you to be mindful of um, if you do decide to ask different questions. I certainly see, you know, as I mentioned before, if it's something that they do mention that comes out in their presentation, that is fair game because they did state, this is what I want to be known for, this is my, my legacy, or these are my accomplishments, or anything like that, and you should be um, able to ask those. There are certain questions if you're going to ask trade, immigration, um, community health, anything like that, those should be the same questions. That is just from a human resources perspective. I, Mr. Chairman, um, so I agree having served on the search committee for the uh, second position at Laredo College, everybody got the same questions and you really learned a lot. You lear we learned more from that candidate from the questions than their upfront presentation. Uh, just their um, character and temperament and how they think on their feet and um, but I so but I do think we need to make some uh, um, because there will be follow-up questions based on what we read in their in their packet and what they're gonna say but I do believe that everybody should have the same set of questions for from us with the exception of follow-ups um, that that get mentioned and I don't know how we do that if we're gonna give them up to 30 minutes for a presentation. That's, to me, that's very lengthy. Why don't we stick with 20 then? Maybe 20? Well, we, yeah. well there's nothing we didn't think, 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 think all 30 minutes. We didn't think all 30 minutes. It's a It's the nitty gritty of the It's a limitation. It's not, it's, it's not mandatory they go 30 minutes. Right. Well, it was up to 25 with. 25 with the five quick extension. The five extension. Again, that's a good, could indicate how they use your time. We That's what I'm saying. But my point, my point earlier is I say, staff, I mean, um, it's important that each one of the candidates be told, look, this is the time you've got. So you've got to take advantage of the time that you've got. And you know, the more clear you are based on what you want to present, you know, may, it may it may reduce the number of questions. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but you know, it, it may it may avoid any 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 uh, nine. You know, having to worry about nine different questions if you include that already in there. So that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's if we are, if we want to do everything in one day, you know, we are going to be pressed. It's going to be a long day. And uh, but I do believe also that that we, we should we should have our own uh, ability to ask a question that may be prompted as a result of that that presentation or of any or the way the person answered right. answered the question. Mm -hmm. You know, with you know, anyway. So, uh, I think we'll, I guess, you know, from the standpoint, we we have a motion right now to look at the, the, the questions. One, general question. Two, an individual question that would not be in conflict with the clauses <coughs> and the rules. And a follow-up follow question if necessary. That that correct? Mr. Yes. Boyd? And there was a second to that? Second. Yeah. So, that's the motion that's been seconded. All in favor? Say, if I say it, aye. 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 All opposed? I mean, opposed. What? What? <laughs>
You all want to share the motion. Can you, discussion, can you repeat that the motion, motion one yeah. more time, please? Want to make sure you're awake. So want to make sure you're awake. The motion that was made by Mr. Puig was, yes, we will have one general question that will be asked of all the candidates. There will be one question that you would select to make based on um, you know, the presentation or whatever. Uh, and there would be possible a possible follow-up question if necessary. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Well, third, well, the, you're, you would ask the general question that would be asked of all candidates. The second question okay. would be your own question, and then if need be, a third follow-up. Okay. So. And I second. I was a, and the second, you know, was made, and that's what we're voting for. So that's the motion. Call the question. All in favor? Discussion. Aye. 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 Sorry, sorry discussion. Bill. Motion to second. Aye. Discussion. Motion has been seconded. Sorry. Can okay, we vote? Yeah. The motion. Discussion first. Discussion. discussion. Yeah. Uh, so I do think the advice from the city is very important uh, because people then start to talk about favoritism and loaded questions and you know we're going to get that, all of us. We're going to get it. We're going we're to get it right now. We're going to get it right now, I, so we can't avoid that. So, uh, uh, and having so. gone through an experience where everybody did get all the same questions, but there was time, There was, we had wiggle room time to do follow-ups based according to their responses. Um, you know, well, we're never going to please everybody. You're never going to please everybody. You know, so we have a process. We're trying to go to get to a process right now, see where it gets us. Okay. That's all I'm saying. I'm yes, not comment. Sure. You know, I'm not gonna ask this. the fact that we have um, our interim city manager as one of the candidates, to me, there's, in my book, there's going to be a difference in the questions that he's, you know, going to be asked versus the other candidates because he's in the office right now. He's responsible for performing. He put his resume together and said, I've done this. And a lot of the questions are going to be, can you elaborate on that versus the other candidates we want to find out more about them not only through the presentation but through the question so if we did not have someone who's already performing or assigned to perform the duties of the job and they were all from out I, I can understand the questions all being the same but we have a person that is already in the position um, that it's almost going to be held to a higher standard because he's performing the job. And, and there's going to be questions <laughs> about the performance of the job. Because, you know, there, there's a decision going to be made about other people who have not had that opportunity to be in the position. So what we're going to ask of them versus what we're going to ask of the person who's already in yeah. may vary. Right. So. And that, that's understandable because in this particular case, he, you know, uh, he is a known commodity here versus other 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 four that are not known commodities to us. And that's only fair that understandable that there may be, you know, questions that would be more relevant for, for you know what his answers would be. But that's just that's what we have you have you'll have an opportunity to ask that question. Mm -hmm. to do that. Nine of nine nine of us nine of us will have that, that opportunity if that's the case. So uh, it it's right now it's a process. We're trying to make sure that everybody's a fair process for all and everybody's given the same opportunity. <clears throat> yeah. That's 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 all we're trying to, to be fair here, trans, fully transparent. I know that as we speak right now, and, and you all have seen, you know, have been privy to all the news, there's so much out there in the public arena that people already made up, think that we made up our mind. We have not made up our mind. There is no hidden agenda of this committee. We try to be as transparent and follow a process that each one and the integrity of our community is, is definitely, you know, very important to all of us. You know, we've taken our time, volunteers, we've worked very well with staff to come up with the best candidates that we consider at, based on the parameters that we have been given. And we can have a separate debate about that, but that's what we were given, that's what we have to work on, and we will do so. Now let's move forward and see where it takes us. If we find that within these five candidates that we can't come to a consensus, or can hopefully we would come to a consensus you know, a of a series of recommendations. At the end of the day, it's the council is the one that's going to decide. 
Mr. Chairman, there was also a recommendation by Ms. Galo um, at the last meeting. It, there was no motion made, but in case you interview all of them, all of them with the same questions, you can always come back for a sen second interview at a later date and continue to ask additional questions so you can really determine that. So that's still something you all can do in the future if you're concerned about you didn't ask all the questions to any one candidate. And, and there, I don't think there's anything else out there where even the, even the city council can choose to say, I want to, I want to interview those those individuals too, Correct. myself, Correct. and whatever conditions are set for them. We as a committee were charged to come up with a, with a, with a series of candidates that we felt that we would review and recommend. And I think once we go through this interview process and hopefully, you know, we come up with, a, you know, who we want to recommend to the council, uh, that's, I, I think, you know, our committee work is over. Whatever, whichever way the, 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 the council chooses to go, they will vote on it. They don't like our recommendation, they vote, you know, and they want to get, if they choose to go a different direction, they don't like any of them, then they may be another committee going through this whole, this whole scenario. Yeah. You know? But uh, we've done, I think we've done our charge, and I think, uh, and I, I really commend each and every one of you for really taking the time and the energy to. Mr. Chairman, do we discuss the actual procedure after the interview process? What are we going to, what number are we recommending to council? No, we Is have there not. a cutoff? I think, I, think, I think a lot of it rests on, on, the, on, yeah. on the interviews. Okay. You know. But there is a motion on the floor right now that we have not voted on. I just want to remind everybody. Mr. Chair, if I may recommend also something before we make a motion. We'd like to also give you maybe a one through five scoring sheet based on knowledge, experience, a couple of other categories. So while you're interviewing, if you, if you so wish, start yes. circling them so you can remember making notes of them, and then you all talk amongst each other and decide you know, who honest, the candidates to, are. To be honest, you, Ms. Cabello, I think we've given candidates ample time to okay. submit a resume, submit a questionnaire, okay? And in the questionnaire, there's 40, 24 questions. Uh, I don't want to go back and give anybody any, 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 any thought that we're, you know, we're providing heads up or uh, any other information so how that would, will choose? influence our, I think, I think it's very clear right now, in my opinion, that we have plenty of time to review the candidates and the information they provided. We're at the stage right now. So what is the, the methodology? The interview, the, the interview is, the interview is, is been set. Let's do the interviews. And let's see where it leads us. If out of those interviews, we determine that there's two or three, or guess sure. what? Okay. But I think she's, she's alluding to a scorecard that we could keep right. so that we could, at the end, present our scores based on the interviews that we had. Um, right, because what will be the methodology for to say, I'm taking these top three to council? Yeah. Now, I, I, I'm in favor, and I'd like to make okay. a motion after we vote on this motion yeah, on we'll the scorecard. <laughs> Okay. So we have a motion. That was my point. Okay. We need to have a. Mr. Chair, we have a motion and a second on the table for the, the question for the process. Can Call the question. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Question on the scorecard. There's, there's a question right now in regards to what happens after we conduct the interviews and what, how do we do we score them or do we make a recommendation? I, you know. I'd like to make a motion that we have a simple scorecard so that we're taking notes for each candidate as they're answering so that we can remember it's very helpful to do that um, at the end of the, a long day. So I would make a motion that we have a simple scorecard. Um, when the city pre presented to us. But, so are you saying that you want to do it, you don't want to do it after we finish all the interviews and determine from that point, no. are we ready to make a recommendation or you want to have a separate meeting for that? Uh, I see. I see what you're saying. Well, I, well, first, I think we need a scorecard. I know somebody like me, it's very helpful uh, during the process. Like, I think that's one thing. So then your question is, at the end of that day, is that when we're going to, amongst each other, say, here it is, or are we going to meet later to do that, right? That's right. the question. I guess that's my point. My point is that, you, you know, it all, you know. It's fresh. Right. One thing is to say, hey, we've met, these are the, you know, guess what, out of these, these five, you know, these two really st stood out. Yeah. And we all agreed to that, you know. Or do you want to have a discussion about those, you know, 
those five again. And you know, that's that's that's, what, that's my point. Can I ask you a question? Uh, what was the, the, the council asked us to send them, send them the, the score sheets sheet of, of the, if we were interviewing five, we're sending them the, the average of the five that we sent to them. I, I don't know. I don't, what yes. was that? And the motion was also, the direction from council was also to develop the scorecard and, and send them the scorecard. Right. Mm -hmm. yes. And have we developed the scorecard yet? So not the so top that's what two I candidates. To do. The, 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 the so we don't rank the candidates and send the top two or top three. They're gonna. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. But they want to see the scores. They want to see the scores. The scoring system. With it. The scoring system. Well, I think, okay. we, Mr. Chairman, we need to turn in our scores that day. Yeah, uh, and discuss the top two or three. Yep. Yeah. Recommend the top. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Recommend the, the top two or three. Yeah. yeah. But Mr. Chairman, scorecards. If, if there's maybe a, a possibility, we are all going to submit a similar question to the candidates. Maybe we can rank them based on that similar question, and then you have an overall rank uh, based on alternate questions or something, just a, in general, and then that way you can at least have a have, have some kind of scorecard that the council can follow. That we all we, we all ask one question, so there'd be nine. We rank one through ten or whatever for the nine different sections. The questions in there. I just, um, with the scorecard, I can, I know that we're charged with that. And if we're going to make the recommendation, because we could have someone like, you know, do very well and we think, oh, this one did great and I scored them very high or top. And then someone comes in after them and does even better. I, I guess we can go back and amend our scorecard. Yeah. And so. And you don't have to make a decision that day. You I was going to say. for your notes. Yep. Okay. And then later on, we, su we submit. I mean, it's not going to be used as a tally. I guess that's what I'm saying. Because what if I, you know, I start thinking about it, and then I say, you know what? This but do the tally sheets and turn it turned in at the, after all the interviews. After they you turn in all of them at one okay. time. Yeah. On, on that day. Right. On that yeah. Day. I just, I, just I was trying to review the, uh, the minutes from the city council minute, uh, yes, meeting, um, and just to clarify uh, that in a in a motion that was made. Uh, you have it in your. You have you have the minutes there. Great. We I believe we provided them last meeting to you. All right. Let me look for them. They might be. They were separate. They were separate in the binder. They were separate. In, in regards section. to your question about it, the number of candidates they wanted us to just score. There was discussion in the minute, and so noted in the minutes uh, by Council Member Gonzalez asked that the score sheets and grading criteria used by the committee also be used by council during interviews okay. and, and mr torres amended his motion to reflect council gonzalez's request because mr council torres had initiated a motion to direct the committee to commence interviewing after the closing date yeah. no that that gives us an opportunity to allow us to to score nine questions and then we can also score um some other categories that we feel are necessary on how they respond to general questions, um, their their appearance, wh however you want to, we come up with some other, say five other questions, we have nine, we come up with say five others, then we tell council, we scored these nine questions, you come up with your nine questions and rank your nine plus the five. And that way there's the council themselves would end up with their own nine questions, their own individual questions like we did. So I would have one question, council would have one question, and that's how they rank, because if we're trying to develop a ranking system for them, we have to follow some, something for them to do. I'm sorry, um, Mr. Chairman, sorry. I, I guess I'm, I'm not clear. So the city council is gonna interview candidates too? The, well, the top, the top that we, the, the short list that we send. They are going to go ahead and, and bring them back to do interviews of those. They may, they may, they may, they may, they they may go with our recommendation. They may go with in their own. They, they, they can choose to do it. They can bring in all five if they want to, or they can bring in for that matter. <clears throat> yeah, I, I won't say that all, all the other candidates, but, but I would, you would think that, yeah, they, they, they're the ones that are going to do the selection. Well, are you on? We're making the recommendation. Want to be very clear. Either two or three. Right. Yes. Something like that. Right. Or, and early on, had we not said that we were going to send them two or three and we were not going to rank them, that we were going to send them, these are our top Correct. three, Correct. two or three, and we were not going to rank them for them. 
don't right. know. That's correct. We that, said that as a committee. That's correct. So let's say, for example, that we, out of the five candidates, I want to be very, you know, this is something, out of the five candidates, and I'm, I would hope that this, not, this does, does not happen, you know, these are our top three, that we, the committee, you know, and that the council says, no, these other two are the ones that I want. I, I, I consider. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. So, and I, again, I'm just going based off the one search committee that I served on for the second position at Laredo College a year ago or so. And we had a scorecard. We, t we tallied and did the whole shebang at the end, and we turned them in that day, and, and they got ranked. You know, this candidate came out at the top with a cumulative rank of 99, and this one at 97, and this one at 95. And that's how uh, we did that to uh, reduce the workload and fulfill the request that the Board of Trustees had given to us. Um, and so but that was a different board. That was a different makeup. That was no, a different group. Right. You, would, you know, if you, if you, I can't. We can't tell you what what this council is going to do. All I'm saying is, I know Mr. Puig has talked a lot, a lot about uh, in all of these meetings. Like our job is to reduce the workload and carry on the workload for the council, and saying this is our recommendation. We have met them. We've read about them. We've ranked them, and here you go, and. Uh, and not not keep this process going and going to where they're going to bring them in and interview them like just we're saying this is our recommendation to you this is our number one two and three four five persons with our ranking cumulative as as a commission well i can't tell you what the city council members city council would want to do okay because i've already went that through that experience you know in october you know and where it changed a major change of of, of of a deadline and all that happened so i can only tell you what we what we've got so far what we've been charged to do but the end of, they're going to make the decision they can accept our recommendation or they cannot if i, I mean good. but i think they should know how we ranked that, everybody that, and that's part of the chart how we ranked each candidate yeah as what, what what we thought as a as a as an average or i mean it doesn't have to be an average it can be like this i mean it can they can get something like this from that, us that, or, that, I don't that's know. what i said uh, that's what i said at the very beginning i thought we were going to send them we're interviewing five they're going to get the, they're going to get the average of all five yeah. Yeah. this is what well, this is what the committee did for the top three yeah it's the only thing like you said. It's, it's, their, it's their choice. We can rank a number one, and they, they might make a recommendation to pick number four. But we interview five. I think that I think that he, they should get the score from the five you interviewed. This is an overall. Is, so is this is an overall score as a committee to you all. Now you make the decision. So your question is, once we conclude the interviews, and we determine based on the interviews that these X number of candidates. Are our choices? You're saying this would be number one choice. This would be number two choice. This would be number three choice. I think we should give them a kind of ranking scorecard, like a, the cumulative rank of our top five. And what what do you think that's going to do? It's a requirement. It, it's well, no, it's part of the charge that we give oh. them a scorecard to go that's with the motion. recommendation. Yeah, but the score the, the scorecard the, the, it, 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 well. it, it didn't delineate the scorecard and say you were ranked one, yeah. you were ranked two, and you were ranked number three. Yeah. It, it just says you'll have a scorecard. Yeah. Yeah. Why, why would and our scorecard, the way we try the way I interpret the scorecard is that these are the guys that, that are still in the game. They're still gonna be considered. Right. Okay. And not this is number one, this is number two, this is number three. But you do know? you have now, do, you, do you do you have a problem putting our cumulative our, our cumulative rank for each candidate? Uh, I do not. I, I support that. I think that's the right way to do it. I think y'all are making the suggestion that our job is to develop a scorecard, rank them, and provide that ranking to the council. Mm -hmm. And then they have our scorecard in front of them, and then that helps them make their decision. Now, whether they choose to interview or do the process that they, they choose to follow is up to them. But we Rank them, we've scored them, and here's the numbers. Our job is done. Let me ask you a question. Your question is, do I have a problem? I, I, I have a problem with with ranking one, two, or three to the council. Uh, I think 
I would hope that it would be unanimous, all of us, but we're nine of us here. And we were all over the radar just on, 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 Ted, on Ted folks. Council, yeah. I mean, commissioners, uh, I'm sorry. Well, not say all over the radar, <laughs> but we had, we, had, we, 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 we had to narrow it down as a discussion. We're down, we're down to the five candidates, you know. I don't want to influence anybody. I don't want any council to be influenced by, by us and say, hey, they're going to value your opinion more than they're going to value my opinion, okay? And I want to value his opinion more than your opinion. I would rather say, look, these, these are all of us. This is all of us in order we think these are the best candidates. You know, I'll give you the choice. You're the decision maker, council. You know, we're comfortable with any one of these three. I but they, but I mean, if you, you go in there and say, we believe, you know, well, the majority of us believe this should be number one. The majority of us believe this should be number two. And then they're going to want, well, how did you vote? Well, how did you vote? And how, maybe that'll have an influence. You know, they have that discussion in the city council. I would hope that we it would be unanimous and we all agree to it, but I can't tell you right. that's going to be the case. I just Mr. think, Chair. I, I, Mr. Chair, I agree with you. We were all over the place with our rankings, just of these individuals. And so I, early on, we as a committee talked about just sending them and not ranking them. I mean, you can use a scorecard, but at the end of the day, maybe we should follow up the next day with a meeting and discuss and say, these are our top two, our top three, whatever it is. Oh, you know what? We can't decide. They're all great. Let's send all five of them to the council. Mm -hmm. And so after a long 10 hour day to be, you know, turn this in and make your decision right now, I think is a little hasty because sometimes when you go home and you rest and then you say, you know what? I would like to discuss this or I would like to point this out to the committee. But we were all over the place with our ranking. So I, I, I agree with the chairman. And maybe at the council meeting, go to clar clarification, does the council still want a scorecard? Because we, I, if I was at that meeting, and correct me if I'm wrong, they, they didn't tell us to rank them. They just, oh. they threw in a st scorecard. But I thought it was more of a basis just to guide ourselves and remind ourselves during the during the I, process mr. chairman I, I just want to say like I mean our job is to vet out candidates for our next city manager rank them for our council members and I think that a tally at the end shows the culmination of all of our work here you go all of these months and in the spirit of transparency and accountability this is how we came out in the end with all of these candidates. And here you go. This is how these five people ranked based on our two hour interviews and our review of their packets. And I think that uh, our job is to give them a recommendation, whether they take it or not, whether they choose to do interviews, whether they choose to go back to the drawing board. I believe that our job is to give our recommendation in the end to them and show them how they rank. Nobody's saying we're not going to give our recommendation, though. We are going to give our recommendation. I've, I've got a comment, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I can see value in both. I honestly, honestly can. I, I, in the past, our city council has hired consultants that have been paid big money. And then for some reason or other, the council ends up doing the opposite of what that consultant, who supposedly is an expert in that particular field, recommended. Why does that happen? Have no idea. So that could potentially happen here. If we give them a scorecard, they could potentially agree, disagree, whatever. Another option is to say these are the top three candidates. Here is some information on each candidate regarding their strengths. And I don't know if we want to introduce perceived weaknesses, because I agree with, with what Ms. Cortez is saying. Boy, we were, we were given a big responsibility, and we've been looking at this for months and months now. And to just turn it over to the council with a certain ranking, they may turn around and say, yeah, or no, or, or change it, have their perceived ideas. And, and then not value at all, all the work that we've done. So that's why I'm saying about giving them a little more information as to why we feel the way we feel. Mm -hmm. 
you know, these are the top three candidates and here are their strengths. Because we have had a lot of time to review all this stuff and look at resumes and look at the questionnaires and, and, and the reason they came up with this committee was so that the council wouldn't make the decision and the council didn't have the time maybe to do this process. So I'm, I'm kind of torn between, you know, Mr. both Chairman. ways. You know, giving them a ranking and not giving them a ranking. The pros and cons, what, you know. Mr. Chairman, if we may recommend, we have a council meeting on the 21st. We can ask for clarification at that point. I was just about to tell you that. Yep. But then it's going to be basically what they're wanting as opposed to the importance of the task that we have. I think we need clarification on the procedure once we interview. That's where we are right now. What is the procedure so that we can submit the candidates to the council. We, we are all confused here, so I, I would go with that recommendation. We need clarification from the council how they wish us to proceed once we interview, because we don't know. What do you want from us, five, yeah. six? Do, one, they want, do they want a ranking, one, two, three, like sure. or do they want two out of the five, or do they want all five uh, with a rank? Because that's we have, to rank, we have to recommend one, two, three, four, five. So uh, I think we need clarification. I would like that. But yes. again, we were not charged to, to hire no, or we, select. We were charged to recommend. We were charged, we, we were charged to identify the candidates that we wanted to submit to the council. They're the ones that hire. I think my, just I agree. my. So, so, yes. so, so, sure, I, I also that's believe my, that the that's council that's wants to know how we came to that conclusion of the five. And so that's why they've asked for a scorecard. And a process that they can use that mirrors what our process was to some degree. But you, would you would you agree that out of these five candidates, mm -hmm. that among ourselves, right now, you know, based on what we have right now, without the interviews, that we could not come with arrive at a consensus who's number one, who's number two. Agree. We, huh? we can't. But once okay. we do the interviews, we need a scorecard right. to submit with the with those candidates as we rank them. That's right. That's right. We're going to make a recommendation to them. Be a, be a one, two, three, or here's the five. This is how we scored them. You all decide. But they have to have a scorecard so that they know how we came to that conclusion. I think, of those I think five. we're putting think the two right? together. We're, we're going to rank them via the scorecard just like we did, but it's going to determine uh, three names, and those three names are going to go forward. But they're going to get to look at the scorecard. Mm -hmm. They can use that's it as they, they want, want to. That's, that's the whole point. But it doesn't matter it, it, because here we've come up with three because we're to come up with the five that we came up with. Everybody was all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. So, but we did come up with five, right? Okay. So I think we can do the very same thing for the council. We've got to come up with a consensus as to, you know, if we rank them, send them the scorecards, they're going to want to know how we came up to that conclusion. So that they can go ahead and follow up with their own questions with those that they want to interview. If they want to interview all three, or just take the top one. Okay. And again, I'm, I'm not opposed to getting clarification from the council. I just know that, or feel like, that they have given us a mandate to say, give us a scorecard. So they want something they can look at, that they can follow, that, that doesn't deviate from what we've done, and create some new <coughs> process that maybe chooses folks outside of, a, of the list that we've given them. So part of the uh, motion is scorecard and grade, and grade. How many scorecard candidates would they like to see? And grade. There's no number of candidates. There's no number of candidates. There's no scorecard and grade. So we give them all five, and we rank them from 90 to 85, whatever the scorecards are. Yeah. That would suffice. But they also want the scorecard. They want to know how we scored them. What Can we the see the scorecard before the interviews? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you all about. Do you? Will you allow us to make one up, or do you want to make one up now? That was my initial question. The scorecard is just ranking. Right? I think, yeah. yeah. I think you also decide. You know, based on general, general categories, knowledge, education. I know that they all have, they are here for that reason, but based on presentation, based on 25-minute uh, 20, you know, presentation, based on Q&As that you all have, we can do something like that. Okay, so um, you've already kind of done that for us here, yes. given us categories. Yes. And what would we do? Like a one to five, one being the best, five being the weak. I mean, right. We can do strength, that for you. The yes. I think they should create it and give it. To and us then that way, it's not so specific. Because I guess 
when I've been in interviews with scoring, the questions are already there. And that's why I guess I'm very confused because here we don't want to let the questions get out. So maybe, I don't know how the rest of the committee feels, but if we use these categories that they've already provided for us and do a scale as one being the strongest and five being the weakest, would that work for everybody? Yes, and I'd also like an NA because let's say the candidate or an does not touch that particular item. You can also put NA. I mean, does that work? I mean, I, I, do you all have existing scorecards right now? No. Not not, not like this. Not like, like this. this. No. Without questions. Like, but it's very easy for us to make based on these categories. Operations, you can grade them from one to five. Uh -huh. um, right. right. And we'll, sh you know, if all these that's categories that we're talking about. Yeah, that'll be our scorecard. Well, I mean, I'd like to make a motion that, you know, we use these categories have you seen, have you seen this? that were provided to oh, us. And we assign a score, not necessarily a rank, a score. A score. And then the scores will determine the rank. Yes, exactly. Right. I'm with exactly. Second. These are things that. I Who's going to develop that score? How are you, you going to develop Do you want to make the motion instead of me? <laughs> <laughs> I would agree with that. You make the yes, motion. Yes, we'll, we'll put in the sports. So is, there a is there a motion on the floor right now or not? That's That, that was my motion. Did you hear the motion? No, second. I'm sorry. You repeat the motion. Okay, the motion is to create a scorecard based on these categories that you have presented mm -hmm. to us and that we have reviewed and to, how did you say it, Gene? Uh, um, to do a, a scoring one through five, uh, one being a strength and, and five being a weakness. And then based on the scoring that we will produce a ranking from there. Is that how you said it? You yeah. said it more eloquently. That sounds good. <laughs> you're, you're, you're yeah, we would just assign a score to each section and then and that based on the scores for each section, it would determine a rank. I second the motion. Okay, so the motion has been made and there's a second discussion. Motion. I, uh, well, let me have Chris, you have you had a question? Okay. I, I would like to see this thing um, change a little bit. It just says um, experience in. I'd like to be a little more demanding. Uh, experience and successes. Because I can sit and well, tell you. Well, that's how you'll rank. How you it, rank it, it's it. not a success. You'll rank it a five. I, I, I know, but this, this is going to be going to the candidates, right? No. 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 For you. It's for us. It's our scoring card. It's going to be yeah, our they're scoring not, they're not, They shouldn't know what they're going to be. No, no. I, I know, but, but it says all candidates will conduct a presentation covering not limited to. All those. Okay. Yes, but we're probably going to ask so, more specific questions. Right, but so we're not telling them ahead of time in your presentation, be sure to include all of these items? Yes, you are. You are. We are. Them. Oh, okay. We are. So what I'm saying is I would just like to see it experience and successes because I can tell you about the 100 meter dash all day long, but have I ever won that race? Well, that's, that's going to be based on the presentation. That's how you will determine if <coughs> you're a strong candidate or not. Right. No, I, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to be a little more, you know, we've had some We're failures. Giving them this, help. this city has had failures yeah, yeah. in the last, you know, 10, 15 years with city managers. And I'm just saying, I, you know, it's high time we get a little more demanding. We get a little more demanding about, about what our expectations are and more importantly, what the expectations of the constituents, mm -hmm. you know, of the citizens of Laredo. It just, you know, this is, the job pays well. The benefits are, you know, really good. And with any corporation across America, when you're paid that kind of money and when you're given those kind of benefits, the expectation, the bar is way up here. And you're gone if you don't perform. That's why I'm saying, I, I you know, we were charged with this responsibility and, and I, I want to see us make the best decision possible. So, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Rodriguez, do you think we would need another meeting to feel comfortable with the scorecard and also we feel comfortable with the nine questions that everybody's gonna pretty much get. Do we need to be have another meeting to be just solid on that? I think so. That's fine. I think so. I did. Uh, and, and I think I think I think it's very important that 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 uh, that we have that discussion, and we're all in, in unison for that. You know, so uh, I would feel more comfortable going with the council for that with with, with that with that discussion. Yes, sir. The calendar. Uh, you know, just that's why you know, following up to your point uh, uh, that you made, Ivan, is that in my, my questions I was more specific. Yeah. You know, and to your point that you just made, don't just tell me what you do or what your responsibilities were. Tell me what you have achieved. You know, and what benefit did it bring to that community that you were that you were representing? 
That's what I want to know. I want accomplishments. Don't tell me what you were supposed to, or you know, what you were, what your job description told you to do. You know, and and uh, that's why it'll either come up in the form of a question during the interview, you know, or in, in the form of a presentation of what they achieved. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'll share my questions with staff so that they know my expectations. I don't have a problem with that, you know. Uh, and that's just four of which I may come up with, you know, I may have more. Some of you may have the same, the same, the same things too. But I'm looking for the same thing as, as you are, Mr. Lee, is that we want to make sure we get, we get, we get feedback from these candidates as to what they've accomplished. You know, this is not, this is, that's critical. Mr. Chairman, have you decided, have we, have we decided if we're going to ask our questions based on the topic or what question? That's the motion on the table. That's what's at the table right now that she was, that she so was it, to I know, that, but they'll be assigned to us, you know, your question will be based on this on this particular topic. Well, we haven't, so we don't share that we haven't no, discussed assigning a specific that's topic to any one individual or committee. Okay, okay that we have not, that, 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 right now we're talking about, this is the relevant topics, but I'm not, this is what the questions right? are going to, this is what these are the questions that will be presented. I'm good with that. Okay. okay. So again, the motion was made, and there was a second. They only understand the motion. The scorecard. Is that right? Yes. And and I and I forgot in my motion to add the category that Rosario suggested is an NA. Uh, right. Well, that or a zero. Or a, what? Well, no, not a zero because it, yeah, what no, is the straight? Right. An NA. Yeah, and I mean, you just score them, I guess, a five if they didn't answer the question satisfactorily. Well, then you're, you're fine then. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Okay, then you're fine. Then I don't want to end my yes. question. Just wonderful. Okay. I'll leave it the way it is. All right. Call. All right. So call for the call question. question. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Okay. Mr. Uh, Chair, the suggestion was made that we have one more meeting, so calendars. Okay. So we have set up the interview date. You know, and so what I only want to look at when we could meet immediately after the soonest, the sooner the better. You're talking about before or after the interview after date? The after, after the, after the, after interview, the interview date. date. Did you want one before for the score? For, for the interview date? Before the interview date, right? Because we need to, we were going to do our, our nine general so questions, questions. Oh, the question. and our scorecard. Questions on what? They and our on. scorecard. And right. I guess you can show us an example of the scorecard so we can approve it. Questions and guidelines for questions not to ask? Yeah. All of that meeting? Yes, I'll provide that. That's the meeting before. So, so if the meeting is set for the 29th, all you've got is between here and the 28th mm -hmm. to, to have another meeting to, of this committee to, to, uh, to do what? To uh, confirm the scorecard, right? Um, to approve the scorecard. So you can the see scorecard. It. And discuss the question, approve discuss the, question, nine, the, the nine categories. questions nine categories. that everybody will get asked. And to review the, each question, that, the general questions? No, I would say the, the topic of the question. The topics are there. The topics we'll, that will be addressed that the in the interview? Made. Uh, the yeah. topics that we're going to, my question Who, be, who's going to be assigned to what the topic? topic? No, because we said Mr. Puig, right, had said uh, all candidates on the first go round, will be asked general question. Everybody the same question. question. The same question. So we need same to question. know what those are. General topics. I mean, right? just well, general, yes, based on the, I don't think so. On the, we know on what, the topic. I know what my question is going to be to each candidate, and then that day I'll decide. I'll have several other questions that I, I may or may not. You're talking about these categories to assign mm -hmm. these categories right, to because us. Right. I understand that, but say you're going to just you're going to ask about transportation. Okay. And I have to say, it's a transportation. That's but we need to the, volunteer. Right. I'd like to volunteer for community health. That's right. my, I believe, area of expertise. Right. I'd like to ask a question about downtown. That'd be my main question. So we don't, re nobody repeats the same question. Well, At least that, that question we're going to ask every candidate, all five candidates, exactly. the same question. I think that we, that, that we need to, to sign those at that meeting. Well, why can't you sign them now? That's what I'm saying. If the chairman wants to do that, they're, they're already telling you they're perfect. They're they're I don't. I don't have a problem with signing seven. anything right now. You know, in fact, I'll start off. You have the list before you. I don't have you may have it. I can remind you. We have the area of education. Okay. Then we have under experience. We have city operations. Public safety. You know, if anybody wants to volunteer, 
already for somebody who's done. Do community health and Jim. Say that, Mr. Lopez, again. Community health, I'd like to volunteer to craft a question regarding community health to the candidates. Community health. Okay. I'll ask the question in education. Mine will go with sustainability. Hold on. Environmental issues. Environmental slash, well, sustainability slash environmental. Where is it on the list? It's it's under a, you're, going, you're working off the list. Environmental, environmental issues. Well, however, you ask the question, that's in there. Sustainable, yeah, sustainability, environmental. Um, so you'll ask the question for the environmental. So the environmental issues. <clears throat> Who has environmental issues? Sustainability and, and. Formulate your question. Yeah, environmental. I'm going to do the environment and the other one, your other question for you. I'm looking for education. Yeah. At the very top. It's at the very top. Oh. The main the, education yes, category. correct. Yes, thank you. Because there's 14. Yeah, we have more categories than, than, than committee. And we, we, have, we have a lot more categories, so you may find yourself, you know. Which we one? have public safety, collective bargaining. Which are you taking, sir? We have community initiatives. These are, the, these are the ones that are open. I'll give you the ones that are open right okay. now, and I'll go over them. Community initiatives, financial relations, employee labor relations, ethics, fiscal responsibilities of budget. I'd like to talk about infrastructure. Okay. Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Mr. Poy. Mm -hmm. Legislative affairs. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. You want that one? We'll take that one. We'll take that one. And transportation and trade. You're going to take both? You're doing yeah. that? Yeah. Mr. Lopez wants to take, take transportation. Then I'll take, ask I'll go ahead and take fiscal that. responsibilities and budget. Okay, let me just go back <laughs> one, one at a time. I have education, Mr. Garcia. Yes. Okay. In the areas of experience, we have right now Mr. Rodriguez with city operations yeah, but I'm and going economic going development. Economic development. Okay, wait a minute. You want Mr. Rodriguez? You want Mr. Rodriguez wants economic development. City up, not a city operations. Okay. You got it. You. Mr. Rodriguez is going to have economic development. Okay. Uh, public safety, collective bargaining. More than fifty percent of the budget, right? Sixty-four. <laughs> if I, I'll take both fiscal responsibility budget and collective public safety and collective bargaining. Say that again. I can take both of those. Yeah, they go hand in hand. City public operations safety. and public safety, collective bargaining. Those I'll, two? No, I'll take public safety, collective bargaining, and fiscal responsibility and budget. Since collective bargaining, here. public safety takes up almost fifty percent of our budget. So you have public safety, collective bargaining, and what other area? Uh, fiscal responsibilities and oh, budget. Well, I said education. Okay. I think when you look at these, uh, well. How many of you want me to? Uh, mm -hmm. Community Health, Mr. Lopez had it. Yes. Okay. We have bilateral relations. We have economic development, Mr. Rodriguez. Employee and labor relations. How does that tie, doesn't that tie into collective bargaining and public safety, or is it not just totally different? Totally different. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Collective bargaining is a matter more really than of itself. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Can, I so wouldn't mind covering city operations as well. Mm -hmm. Mendy? Those would be your two questions? I'll take, yeah, public safety and budget. Okay. Ethics? I'll take ethics. And I don't know if uh, past employment, you want to add to that or if it's okay. it kind of goes together sometimes. Okay. Uh, I'll just open it up for transportation and trade. Uh, Mr. Duenas, do you want to take some of that? Transportation trade. He wanted to do yeah. transportation trade also. Okay. Um, so that. Means so, so that would that I I could then I would I would I, I'm I'm still going to be here listening. So, but in regards to me, I've talked about legislative affairs, and I'll I'll take my national relations. You'll take what? I'm sorry. My national relations. Okay. Who's sitting? Well, basically, everybody's getting two. You know. Mr. Quick, uh, you're taking. Couple, a couple of, because of these areas here. Yeah, city operations. Got one. I'll take city operations, right? Or someone else taking that? Well, no, no, nobody else is taking it. Because you're doing infrastructure. Infrastructure and city operations, if if you need. 
Yeah, I'll take Mr. Foy has the downtown the operations, structure. but that's okay. Yeah. I still have open community initiatives. I'll take that with you. Victor, you want to take that? Mr. Garcia? Okay, so that's it. Well, I, I do have open employee and labor relations. Yeah, we did that. Gene is going to take that too. Mm -hmm. I've got to collect the bargaining budget. I, I still have to go. I'll do, I'll, I'll take that one. 12. Employee and labor relations? Because my other ones are kind of easy. We'll take it. All right, that's I it. Will. I'll so take the employee and labor relations. Okay. We'll summarize it for you Who's and send it by national, by national I am, relations. I am, oh, okay, I am. Mr. Schwab. Okay. 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 Mr. Duenas has. So I'm taking my national relations and I'm taking legislative affairs. Mr. Duenas okay. is taking transportation and trade. Mr. Duenas is taking transportation and trade. Yes. Okay. Yes. We have Ms. Gaylo taking past employment ethics. And employee labor relations is what I have to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you can take me off past employments okay. if you think I have too many. No, 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 there's, 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 <laughs> never, there's never too many. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Puig uh, with infrastructure and city operations. Is that what I have? Sure. Yeah. Yes. City operations. That's a big one. Go ahead and put me down also. I'll have a question. City so operations. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Lopez. All right. And Mr. Lopez with community health. Yes. That's a lot, right? That's a loaded one. And Mr. Garcia, we have uh, community initiatives. And education. Education, which is a big one. That's it, right? We clear? Okay, so I guess I, I, I'm still at one, I'm sorry. I know everybody has two or more. Well, you're the divided the two. Um, my, my, I can take environment with quality of life and sustainable development. I can focus mm -hmm. on those two. So at quality of life. And then add a category called quality yeah, of life. Yeah, you add a category of quality of life, and then you just focus your question. Yeah, I'll do those two because I um, think everybody Okay, add a quality of life. I think that's Mr. Chairman, just you for want to add quality of life? No, she, she has two. And, and sustainable development? Which one of these things I don't understand what that is. <laughs> Sustainability and environmental issues. You can ask that to say that the environment and quality of life and formulate your question there. Uh, Mr. Chair, for clarification, in in the procedure for all candidates will conduct presentation covering covering not limited to education means their education. Their education. Not the education topic which we need to add to that list, right? That's so correct. The, so the council member, the former council member can add education to that. Oh, I just right. assumed that was education. Yeah, I talked about it. I didn't do until, <laughs> until I saw that's for everybody. Okay, well, that's outside of the bulk. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. that's correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking my Very education is, is, is the work with the university. Yes, yes. So what's their plan? Right. So I had that as a, another bulk. It's point. not the education of It's not the education of him, but <laughs> education, what his plans are. To work with school districts and universities and everything to partner up and... Okay. Okay, we're clear on that. Right, so then, well, really, do we need past employment? It's going to be on their, it's on their resume. I mean, there's really nothing right. to ask. Right. Why don't you delete the past employment as a category because it's already there, I right? I mean, it's. I think you're right. And they should have that in their presentation. Yeah. They I'm, should I'll, have it in. I mean, I'm, it's in their resume. We already I would, saw it. I would leave it in for them to be able to do their presentation with. But, okay. But for yeah. us as a question, it may not be it's just a guide. Kind of question. So then it's just a guide. It's. I'm not gonna. Then you can take my name off. The only. Gonna really ask the, the only thing is that's what you have. The only thing is that hits what Ms. Rodriguez wants to talk about. You know what? What they put a, what they put there as their as their experience. It's to, all, it's to, yeah. The to, on the resume. This is what you said on your resume. But what have you actually done? Or is that their resume, what you say, you know what, did you put stuff that didn't exist, or did you finish, things like that. But I think this is just for you to do your first question, okay. and if someone wants to change one of their questions, right, they can they can touch okay. any, right? It, I, I'm not going to be limited just to what I'm doing. If I hear something oh, and I want my right. second question to be totally unrelated to my category, I'm going to ask sure. it where I want to ask it. Okay. We just have to develop. One question that's going to be standardized for everyone, right? I'm just making this. It's going to be a general question. A general question. Okay. And Mr. Strong, we submit that to you, to Rosario, or just bring it with us? 
bring it with you. I, I prefer you. I don't have a problem with bringing it with you. Yeah, just at that at the interview date. Okay. We're bringing it with you. Oh, no. Does anybody have does, it, does anybody have any questions they want to submit right now? Oh wait, 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 wait. Time out. So we need to do develop a scorecard based on no only on these categories. What categories? Scorecard categories, not the questions. Okay. And just that you added quality of life, right? Instead yes, of quality of life. Mm -hmm. And the environmental, I, I think it needs to be sustainable. <laughs> Correct. Make Sustain that comment. Sustainability. Yes. No, we're out of here. So we're not going to. The scorecard will be just basically a score for one to five. Or gonna... One being the highest and five being the lowest. I guess you can put up there one strong. Yes. I hate the tens because everybody goes fives. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I don't like to do. When it's... All right. So we're not going to meet again then to review the scorecard or the standardized questions. We have we haven't said that. We, yes, we are. We, we're right now. We're saying that we're going to have to meet, discuss the scorecard mm -hmm. right now, and uh, uh, so if it's before before the uh, I did two interviews and reports. What do we got? January 28th is available here, Council not, Chambers, the I'm day before the 29th. But everyone is. Who is not available on the 28th? I am not. Mr. Lopez is not available. Everyone else? Wait, I'm sorry. When is it? 28th, January the 28th. I am not as well. I think it should be a, it should be a very brief meeting. Can we have the meeting on the 29th in the early morning to get it out of the way and then well, move to our the entire the 29th is the entire day. Interview. Interview. You know, the entire day. Actually, that's another very good question. What time do you all want to start on the 29th? Right. If we start at 9, we can have a meeting at 8. And get that resolved and then start well, what if we meeting. have questions and we want to change we'll something changes, yeah. i'd rather have a meeting before yeah. to be honest with you, you before we go into that that the meeting date sure. can we look at the week between the 20th and the 24th mr chairman i'm only available the 24th that day i'm out of town it'll be brief can we do just but maybe a lunch meeting on the 24th i have no problem with the 24th okay let's let's check the key to make sure that the chambers are available because we can meet somewhere else if we can't meet here i mean in a conference room or something airport we can meet in the first floor conference room is it being used here on the 24th we're checking as we 23rd or the 24th really the 24th, I'm 24th. I'm the the okay. i can't on the 24th we have to use it I can do something on the morning of the 23rd. I'm not here. Okay. I can do something. So we can start at 8. I can do something. On the 29th. What's in there? No, hold on. Because if we want to change it. Well, I can do something. I'm leaving the 20th, but if it's early, I can do something the 20th. Are you saying it's a holiday? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Shakurin. She'll be marching. <laughs> I have to leave that day. Well, and I mean, one or two, you know, in regards to the basically one or two people missing, is is it's not going to, you know, I think we, I think if the consensus is there, if I'm not here, I don't know your schedule is, Mr. Garcia, but you know that the idea is just to have a brief, brief discussion, knowing what the scorecard is going to look like before we before we walk into the interview. The interview. So we can take yeah. it up that, that, For that, that matter, the question is, do we want? We can get this ahead of schedule and take a look at it, you know. We can email it to you all and you all respond. Major issues with it, rather than having, you know, okay. contact us, contact would you, me. Would you consider that? You're it's saying the time. morning of the interview? No, I'm saying they're going to come up with a scorecard right. on these, on these what they want to recommend for us, right. okay, and get it to us yeah, next couple of days, whatever, you know, whatever it is. You know, not that, not that. You know, that we got a week to look at it. You know, we can have any, you know, if anybody have any problems with it, we can talk about it among ourselves. But all we're trying to determine to make sure how we're going to, what is it going to look like for the purpose of when we go into the interview. You know, we know we're going to, what is the tool we're going to use. I don't think there's, I don't know if it's going to really require that much discussion. I'd like to, to like, I'd like to know what I'm getting into, what I want to have in my hands. In order for what to what my we can have this to you by tomorrow if you so wish. We can have it by tomorrow. Can we meet Friday real quick at noon? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Might I suggest that if if we all are able to get that document, make our comments, return to you back and forth right. until we uh, I guess reach a consensus. You know, with the exception of maybe some housekeeping, if we meet the morning of thirty minutes prior to the first interview. 
to make sure we clear up any big rocks that may be. Tell exist. me, how, how much time do you think it, do you need HR to put this thing together? We have the categories already. It's a matter of putting one through five and putting them the format. per, yeah, it's just the format. By this That's Friday? Right. By this Friday? We can have it tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Okay. Very early. Just, well, we'll just submit comments as, as, as needed and then just keep sending the document back. <laughs> why, don't we, why don't we get it by this Friday? We have the weekend to review it. You know, make comment Monday. You know, and submit any any recommendations or changes to it to, to staff. You know, by next week. Next, so can we have a deadline for that just to make sure that we don't have someone at the last minute saying, okay. oh, I forgot. The what? Can we have a, a, a date time certain? Sure. Yeah, first, next week. first revisions by Monday noon. Okay, last revisions so, so the by next Wednesday. a week from this Friday is a twenty fourth. Which would put us a week, which put us days before the interview date. So, what about by the 24th, everybody submit their comments? Would that be acceptable? That's acceptable. Okay. So, we'll get it this weekend, have any comments, or any go back and forth for the week. And that the deadline would be the 24th to make the final document what it's going to look like. I think we'll have that tool with us on the 29th. And we can always have any discussion. Anything pops right. Up. If we'll just set the meeting 30 minutes to start, 30 minutes before the first interview, so that we can clear up any housekeeping issues we may have. Oh, what time so, do we want so to start? So on the on the 29th, for the, the purpose of the, of, of of the interviews, uh, it's going to be a long day. So do you all want to start at eight or nine? Or 7:45. Well, we're going to meet 30 minutes before the first interview, or. I, I, I would say let's start interviewing at 9, but meet before. Meet at 8.30. Meeting starts at 8.30. Okay. The first person we interview will be at 9 a.m. Okay. In this room there? Right. Is that acceptable? In here. Yes. This is where we're doing the interviews. The interviews will be here. Now, there is a question that was raised in the council that the interviews, and I wasn't, you know, can you clarify this, Councillor, in regards to public interviews? What does that mean? There was reference here that these interviews would be made in public. Does that mean that everybody's going to come? No, it means they'll be televised. They're televised. Not live, but at least. Not live. Right. Okay. It's not as if they're going to come in here, we're going to they'll interview them, and anybody can be here listening. They'll be recorded for the public. For the public. They'll be recorded for the public. They'll be recorded. But it is open to the public. It is open to the public, correct. So we're going to ask the cast The interviews, we will keep the interviews separately uh, away from. Yeah, Speakers where are you going to keep TVs. the other interview? <laughs> where, yeah. where's where's going to be the green? Where are we going to have the green room? For yeah, all the those green room. Wait to we'll come have in. a green room. Lots of them. Make sure so there's you can't the green room for the room. So, so just <laughs> coffee. Yeah, they're going to be there a while. So, just for clarification, I want to make sure everybody's clear on this. Yes, sir. So, let's say we're here. Yes. What's a what's a, what's a setup? You got to put a chair here. You got to put a. They will be standing in front of you. They'll be standing before for an hour and a half. Yes. Okay. Box. You, know, you, know, what? you know, they're in the box for, for an hour we and a half. Do you really want to consider yeah. uh, interviewing in executive session, in closed session? You that can be up to them. It's up to them. They can choose to no, come public. They can choose to come public, but you can. Yeah, we, but we can say, you know, we're going to executive session. Now they can choose, no, I want to be out in public. I'm just asking. Because <coughs> we're standing up for two hours or just. I know. Just, Which, ah. I guess, um, so we can clear. This section and have them sit there and answer to you. But you put a table or something right We can put a table there also. That's probably preferable. Or a stool. They can lay out their stuff. Or we'll put a high stool. Yeah. That's even worse to sit for a stool. I just want to make sure. They could stand or sit or, I don't know, maybe they have an option. We'll have a stool. Well, I think the. You're going to handle, you can handle all that. We'll handle all the, all the, you know, standing and. <laughs> and, and, so look, I just to my point, you know, we have we, we haven't been intimidated by having sharing our views in these committee meetings. And we haven't held back on saying what we already think, and we've been on camera and streaming what, for the last since April. That should be no different. Okay. All right. All right. Motion to adjourn, sir. Is there there's a motion? Is there any other discussion? Any other topics to be addressed? Done. There's a motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Okay. Right. Aye. 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 Aye.